streamed that thing uh, where they try to cross the border and then they stream bullets at them? Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I need a Facebook link. You need a Facebook link? Yeah, I can do it on all the shit. You want me to send that to you now while we have the looking for action stuff done? Yeah, that's fine. They know it's first, but they know it's first, but they just want to be able to have the link. 21 people have responded to you. I don't want to leave it. That means off the grid, baby. Off the grid. Okay. I'm going to nobody go to find me. I don't even know where my phone is. I'm going to go in the car. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Ah! Oh, you don't like that bit. Those are shaggies. You're gonna write something. Well, that's the road news. 
that. Who do you think plays better? No, no. Um, and you also have the microphone over here. <laughs> uh, oops. Not even oops. But yeah, I don't know who plays better. Please don't think. Is there any other right? Yeah, Kyle was trying to say. Kyle was trying to say that we should just get to the other place more now. Oh, uh, dude, I love it. More than your ignite? Yeah. There's like no, no part of me that's like, hmm, maybe I should switch that.
not good. Or Corey to go get some glasses. He actually wants. You should probably hurt you actually. No, I just did.
John, you should get an OnlyFans for the stream. Robert Jackson. Somebody already gave me only fans for Death Stranding. <laughs> sure. That's a good question. Only fans for fans. Are you both on there? No. No. Thanks, dude. Oh. Wide variety of suggestions. Thank you. You like those oscillating fans? <laughs> Why does it sound like so far too tired to eat that now? Take care of that. Good luck with your food or whatever it is next week. Mm-hmm. You do. You crazy moly. Yeah, you sound like acorns drop. Who's gonna be the co-commentator? Uh, Michael Longway. Oh, good. Thank you, sir. Can I take a minute to talk to you guys about oscillating fans? Oh, yes, very good. It's not on.
Why are these so crinkly? Did you put pennies in your ass? Because they've been sitting in my blue bag for like oh, yeah. a month. You know, you want to order your box. It's a good stuff. No, I don't need them. A hundred whites for twelve dollars. Med. Or you could get Med two hundred for three dollars. Yeah, but well, I'm not getting any anyway. Yeah, I don't think I'll. Well, in that case, I would be getting for uh, uh, for my right cue. Ask uh, Rich what he used, what, the, what he's just using on the. Uh, you know what he says he uses uh, Windex. Windex. Is uh, is seventy percent alcohol really gonna hurt your cue? It's a little bit more water than you want. But what does water actually do to carbon fiber? People oh, ride their people ride their carbon fiber bikes all the time in the rain. Yeah. People have carbon fiber hoods in their car. I tell you what, it's not a big deal to put your cue in a tub of water overnight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Wouldn't do anything to it. Well now you just <laughs> it wouldn't do anything to it. Well then do it. No, I mean it wouldn't do anything to it. It's it's carbon fiber. Fine, just do it. It'll be fine. You probably have to heat it up quite a bit for it to do anything. Like really hot water. No, I mean I'm asking no, seriously. No, like, what, what does water actually do to carbon fiber? That's a like, serious question. I just gave the answer. Why are you not listening? Because Michael disagrees. Huh. All right, you guys, what's in our line? What's in our line? Yeah, two more minutes. Oh, I know. Okay. I'm told that we must join the carbon fiber. Pop, my mic's on. Hello, everyone. We are just looking for the line. Hello, everyone. Uh-oh. Sorry, my girlfriend's called. I'll be right back. Oh, you. Did you guys just flip? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So winner racks their own, winner breaks. Um, jumps allowed, nine ball. So welcome to the stream. If you haven't been here before, um, I always appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you have been here before, we still appreciate a share because it really does help out the channel. So we really greatly appreciate it. So we have uh, Jonathan Spillane and we have Devin Anderson. They're both local players and really good local players. So both of them are learning a lot. Both of them have progressed over the years uh, quite a bit. So hope you guys like it. Good luck, man. Enjoy. All right. So they've already determined who's breaking. Yep. There we go. By the way, if you guys want to uh, put anything in the comments, it's always a little bit more enjoyable, more entertaining. I might round to your eyes today for a change. All right. Well, first rack break and dry.
So this match seems like it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely been a while. It's, you had a, if you know these two, you know this was going to happen sooner or later. Actually, happened a little later than I expected. Yeah, I expected it to be a little soon. And uh, we just touched on that a little bit early today, too, so people could make bets if they wanted to. Right. So. Oh, also, on the chat, if you guys have any problems hearing, somebody's too loud, too quiet, feel free to speak up, say something. Yeah, we do have the overhead camera on and uh, the microphone on the overhead, so you can hear the balls a little bit better, too. Um, the reason we don't have music on the stream is because it bans our stream, which is uh, not good for us. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> and it's happened to us more than once. Yeah. Even when you put copy, I mean, uh, public domain music, it's still, they don't care. It's ridiculous. But Verizon things are really hard to get a hold of, by the way. But for the players, it is really quiet in here right now. Yeah. Well, Devin had a uh, tough shot jacked up over the eight ball, so. Yeah, I think he was looking on going past that seven. I'm about to do this ball pretty hard to get it back down for three. Uh, ban for copyright. Ooh, it's a little high. That safety worked out pretty well for him. Yeah. Now this two is still center, sitting in kind of a weird spot to get shape on the three. Yeah, you, you definitely have to figure out how to avoid the uh, of the mall. Comes underneath the seven, looks like it's gonna to try to come around again. Yeah, it's going around for the three. That's actually not a bad shot. Yeah, I think it was just trying to get into a spot. Except spin. Yeah, unfortunately there was a bit of traffic in the way though. Now it's got to uh he knew maybe he knew it was coming to that four. Garage on this. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. She really didn't have to put a whole lot into it. It's just a small, small turn. Probably didn't need to elevate this high. Keep it a little lower. Just let it take just take a little bit. That's all you need. That's yeah, definitely not an easy shot though for yeah. any any player being still level. Because that has to do a lot with cloth on the table. And you're playing on like our so, table and it'd catch a lot more. It's actually an interesting shot. They're having to be played kind of touchy that angle. Tables plays a little fast. A little into the four. Try to control it that way. Yeah, I think he was trying to hit the inside well on that. He still got a shot on it. Yeah, he does. He's got a he's got a he yeah, could cut the corner. Well, I don't have a lot of choice though. Not like you're gonna be holding the cue ball for anything, so. Yeah, might as well go for it. You could always actually end up overcut it. Try to leave the uh, cue ball by the seven or the end of seven. It's a very touchy shot, too. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. Definitely more of a one pocket shot than a rotation shot. Yeah, yeah you're not going to see a lot of rotation players playing that too much. Just undercuts it. Right for it. And still. Yeah, this is not as tight of a it's not as tight of a uh, cut as it looks like from the other end. I think you want to be on the other side of the flag though. It's a little safety, tries to get behind the six. Maybe left a little daylight. No, it's not to pick.
so far even this game isn't in that bad yeah i think this is probably gonna be another safety after this one well thank you i'm gonna go for it might go for it uh yeah Devin's, Devin's pretty, pretty aggressive yeah um, i can send you the link if you want yeah Devin's a little aggressive so he's gonna go for that so we played a semi two-way shot that yeah, looks like it worked out pretty good for him uh it says that we're on youtube is it not showing up on youtube For the price, place it on the nine. Pretty good little long shot. Once again, we have our typical first game settling down period. Definitely getting out the judge just a little bit. Yeah. It takes a minute. Oh, yeah. Doss is in the house. So cut in the side. That's a little shorter than he wanted to, but all you do is a little up and down. I think uh, the table's probably lit playing a little slower than what he's expecting at this moment. Laxes on that shot fires it in. And Devin's gonna draw first blood. Yep, that's it at zero to one. That was a pretty long first pack. Let's see, ten minute first track, and it's probably a little quicker than I was expecting. And we have a regular walking in the door. Oh. Maybe some side action. About to happen. A little extra cooker activity. Mr. Kirk has uh, shown his presence. <clears throat> How you feeling today, Chris? That's, by the way, that's Chris enjoying a beverage. <laughs> nice of him to bring that here and not uh, bring us any. Let's see how it is. That's more than a truck than easy. And we got a first roll for the day. Might actually help uh, Jonathan relax a little bit. Catch his little rhythm. We know you like beverages, I suppose. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, we always appreciate uh, people sharing that, man. You know, you know, when we first started, like the first few weeks, when I was in the uh, I just. It's had pretty good growth, I think, and I appreciate every single one of you guys for helping us out with that. That's a good time. I think he was trying to win one into the board. Yeah, but he's also letting it stroke out a little bit. 
which is a, a nice idea. Yeah, not really. That's a, that's a, I think that was the right call, though. This the oh. little harder come around. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, that way. Yeah, Jonathan needs to get a little bit more relaxed and uh, see if we can't make a, a fun day of this. Appreciate that John ran the side five balls with us today. Gonna give us a little bit better review of that <laughs> transition. Might be what we do. We should have like five different set of uh, balls. Yeah. And then just randomly draw one right before we start. And so he knows what they're going to be playing with. They don't have a clue what's going on with it. You never know. You might be playing with snooker balls one day. <laughs> Uh, when I was in Afghanistan, a small rally table there that was on the British uh, base. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, we used to uh, play on a 10 foot snooker table, Americanized snooker table, and uh, they had a set of normal looking pool balls. So, normal one, two, three, same color as regular balls, that dies of snooker balls. And so we would just play rotation with that and see how that goes for a while. That'd be great. Well, no, difficult is playing with a regular set of balls on the snooker table. <laughs> also. Yes, that's a bit more difficult in smaller pockets, and you're not cheating anything. So it was fun. It's good practice. If you have a chance to do it, you should, if you really want to tighten your game up. You're not shooting that shot, though. <laughs> you're not shooting that shot by down the rail on that table, I promise. See? That's All right. pretty, uh... Impressive thoughts on a slinker table, though. Oh, yeah. Well, they get a lot of hacks on the logs. Oh, well, yeah. You ain't getting that on free fishing, though. Maybe a free fishing ball here one day. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. That's, that'll be the other flip side. Better yet, halfway through the uh, set, we'll go from the snicker balls to the three cushion numbered balls. <laughs> That's a smart shot. Yeah, yeah. Pour some. Uh, a little, have a little test during the match. That's one, a little blood test. Definitely a test area. Mm -hmm. Especially just to be sitting in the cue ball. Yeah, it looks like Devin's going to return the favor. Almost. I think, uh, I think it's a little straighter. The, the shot's not as difficult. Or as difficult. Um, getting on the nine is going to be the question. I think well, it's pretty straight. Green. Yeah, it's pretty straight. You might be able to cheat the or have enough angle to put top or just draw back. I'm not really sure if he won that turn or even. I wasn't able to be there uh, due to work obligations. I just try to help set him up and uh, we'll set up with that. So, Ooh, well, he, he did have a top and he hit it really, really well. Slight angle. Tuck it back a little bit, be fine. Or he's going to just fire it in. One one. He's going to flirt with the corner pocket a little bit, but no danger there. The not even close. Hey, Chris, I'll tell you nothing to worry about. Oh, not at all. By the way, Chris Kirk says since it's a. Uh, speaking of bad bets, uh, Chris uh, Kirk here says since it's one to one, he's willing to take almost any side bet you guys want. Just uh, bring it up on. Well, as long as I get John. <laughs> We opened up the stream after a little bit early, so people can come in and play side notes if they wanted to. Yeah. I think most people do. I, I know that you're not the only one who has side notes in this match. I know. I have no comment. Well, both of these guys play quite, play quite a few bars. They play cues, they play big shots, and they play all over. Yeah. I think both of them are pretty up and coming players. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. It, the other thing is the both of them have been playing pretty close to the same amount of time. Both of them have uh, really started learning the room about the same amount of time. But what makes it, this match interesting to me is the styles are so different. Oh, yeah. So, and that's what makes it for this a, a really interesting match. Which one plays bad? I don't know. I can tell which is what both. both. <laughs> oh, both you and I play bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, both of us. Okay, play. yeah. So, what's interesting that you're saying, if you, which we should see later on, because right now I think Devin's still nervous. He's trying to play a little tight. He's trying to play cautious. When when he opens up, when he relaxes more, he's a lot more free willing. That's when you want to start seeing him start yeah. putting balls together. I expect later in the game, Graham will be stepping in here. Yes. And John will be the face of the game. I don't think, I mean, other than just calming down, I don't think much is going to change with Jonathan's game throughout the day. I think what you see is pretty much what you got, so. But that is also what makes these extended races really interesting. In fact, you allow the time to relax and, you, you know, change, change the, uh, the momentum of the game a lot. A few I'm times, so. Playing a few more games, I think, actually. Yeah, twenty is it? It's it's pretty low. It's definitely right at the threshold of where you want to be. Um, Even. Sounds like uh, Chris is willing to. Uh, Offer a, a, a small game spot. Yeah. Well, he'll give a few games if you guys want to get some side bets in. Yeah, he could give me some games. I might need to give you a pool game. Is what they need yeah. to give you. This is an interesting. This is an interesting rack right here, though, because I don't think there's been exceptional rules that were around. No, no, I think he played that pretty well. The kid, uh, pretty straight. And back it up. It's uh, he should be off to the races. By the way, Ricky, the Friday night tournament, I think, I believe Devin actually won that tournament. I believe Devin won it on uh, Friday night. So. Yeah, I think John was in that tournament too, really. I, he was, in fact, in that tournament. So it might be. It, yeah. Yeah, Jonathan, yeah, now that you mentioned it, Jonathan might be a little bit more motivated now to uh, make a point. Make a Now he comes in on six, the seven got him. It's going to come inside. He's going to go around. So it's going to come inside. Ooh, he played it really well. Yeah, that was. I think he hit it better than he thought he was going to. He got really straight on that ball. Yeah, like really straight on that ball. I think he can create some angle on this. Yeah, I mean, he can, but you got to remember these pockets are big enough that you can get a level by putting that top on, but he hit it really well. I think uh, Jonathan is, like I said, this is what I'm expecting to see from Jonathan pretty much all day. Yep. Good one. So if you give him that opportunity early, you will uh, you'll be paying the price for it. Again, Devin, uh, once he gets into his mode, he gets the one he's, he's going to be in. Uh, yeah, the loud noises you hear is uh, Nisi is uh, making uh, throwing stuff all around here. So what? Oh. Okay, for some dinner at the quick serve. Go in and get the dinner. <laughs> That's a quick serve. That's a country so. quick serve. Oh, okay. country. So, so today is uh, store. Dame's stream is brought to you by the country uh, store, country quick serve. <laughs> We, we we receive no money or promotional value from the country quick serve, so
Oh, Ricky decided to go hit the Metallica concert. Well, he might as well. Yeah, he didn't invite me. No. <laughs> I don't know how they play as good music with all these. Well, still on the, the walkers playing the music. They're kind of old at this point, aren't they? A little bit older. Yeah. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's not, not as good as like Nine Inch Nails. Nine Inch Nails started kind of bringing out some of the newer stuff there. Well, yeah. Nine Inch Nails has actually been still putting out some nice stuff, some unique stuff. I still like some No, I mean, stuff, yeah, right? it's not the same pace, but it's the, at least they're still bring out new stuff. I mean, they bring out new ideas. Yeah, so that was actually over in Tennessee not too long ago. I wanted to go see them. Yeah, Ricky, we'll, we'll get a constant schedule of that uh, tournament going once a month, and uh, we'll get out posters and everything like that. Uh, we're just missing it this time. Yeah, we're waiting for Iron Maiden's next uh, announcement so we know when to put the next tournament on. Black like Sabbath does the original reunion tour, you know. Whatever Ricky likes. That's interesting. Uh, Yeah, I really don't know what that was. Question is, how do you get on the tube all without getting into all that traffic? Uh, the small small small. How many games are you giving up? Well, you need to respond to me. No, no, I mean in this game. Oh, or, or are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about playing. Oh, oh, Chris, are you talking about playing the other Chris, or are you talking about in this particular game with uh, Alex and Devin? Yeah, Justin, I think that might have been a little bit of a miscue. I think it's Q might have said it over just a little. I figure out how to get on the two, avoiding all that traffic, because there is a lot of traffic on the route. He manages to get in there. It's as good as you could hit that ball. I can take a smoke. I'll be honest with you. Uh, when I talk to Chris Kirk, I have no idea what he's talking about most of the time. Unless he said head or tails, then you know what he's saying. Well, yeah. I thought I didn't, I didn't think that he even thinks about that. I thought it was just a natural reaction he has. Yeah, it should be some up pocket. Just, yeah. It's like he doesn't even, the, the coin's flipped. He's like, wait a minute, did I just flip a coin? All right, I guess we're in action. actually doesn't look all that bad at this point. That's to try to play a kill shot. Yeah, wow. I almost ended up in the uh, side pocket there. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think you meant to draw it a little bit more. For that. If you're going to put that much inside, you draw it a little bit more to kill it off that end round. Maybe he just wanted to open the angle. Make sure that he didn't get too close to the five, I guess. That shot is really, really difficult. If you can, uh, yeah, the way he's jacked up on the ball, that steep angle going down. I think you have to shoot uh, in your cue a little bit. Yeah. Cue, like the was kind of if you're going to shoot that shot, you've got to really take some extra time and really, really get the pinpoint because it's, 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 Deceptively difficult. Oh, 
What? Yeah, both of these bad. players do know each other quite a bit. Mm -hmm. They're together all the time. Oh, yeah. One gives Devin a chance to loosen up. He's going to be able to pull through that one. If he'd gotten closer, he would have already thought. He'd already been run out by now. Mm -hmm. I think he's trying to hold this. You don't want to be on the other side of the eight. You risk scratching him if you don't get right. I don't think it's a close thing. No, no. Well, mm -hmm. Not one that's worth taking a chance, though. Yeah, I think he just mm -hmm. wanted to stroke it. Yeah, so I think it was still just nerves. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a long match. So that stuff that that I mean, these uh, one or two games really is not gonna make a big difference in any of this. Just shake it off, move on. Kennedy's next. More than each game so far. Or just isn't going to have enough gas. It's uh, an interesting decision. You put the combo, you put it on it. You got plenty of pocket to put it in, but. Yeah, the football's not a game. No. That was a good that, that combo is not easy. It was on the rail, and it, you had a little distance from it. It was not a hanger by any means. Yeah, the football's definitely easy. That's what I was saying. It's was, it was a tough call of whether to play the combo or actually try to play it, you know, play half the pocket. I don't know. I think I like the idea of being aggressive there because if he makes a combo, then he knows it's going to need another mm -hmm. one. Which, if he runs a frack out, that might be just what he needs. Yeah. So I don't have a problem playing a little aggressive on that shot right now. Yeah, that just to. Well, like, no, I agree. There was definitely a safety to be played. I just. Right now, he just needs to get a good win, get a good confidence boosting win. And if you run out from there, that'll do it. So if you guys haven't been here for uh, John with Mind, if you drop by during the uh, stream, yeah, I'm gonna read somebody off. It's always improving the place, always making a uh, little additions here and there. Yeah, um, we've got to hopefully get some doors in here soon and get a sound through. Yeah, if we can get them, get that soundproof and get the commentators muted. That probably makes it even more entertaining at that point. <laughs> that would. Then we could be yelling in the box. Exactly. <laughs> we'll just have uh we'll have fake mics in front of us. I'd be laughing at us saying can you have proof inventory that don't work that we use for like cabinets that said like in the Oh yeah. And they the where they work so good. Oh I bet. And I'm really big. Yeah, well it does surprise me for uh what they've got involved in all that. They've <laughs> they got a lot of money. Yeah. They do it right. 
funny thing is, where I used to work, you could do more expensive machines than one. Oh, really? One machine was price of that one. Wow. But like, that makes a lot of money, you know? It's a lot of money. To get oh, yeah. That that industry is huge right now anyway, so. I came up a hair short. I think uh, the table's still playing a little sore than he's expecting, but I think it's uh, easily recoverable. Might be able to hold it. I take a touch, but I think you can. Yep, that was a nice touch shot right there, though. <laughs> Got the three rows. Two rows. They came out all right. That's pretty much what they're expecting to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jonathan definitely plays uh, with a uh, strong stroke. He likes to put full strokes on most balls anyway, so mm -hmm. I see a lot of touch shots from him today. That might have been his touch shot, by the way, right there. If you ask him, that might have been his uh, <laughs> slow roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, with English, I guess you can end up anywhere on the table. <laughs> I think he's got a little funny here. Might be having to shoot over at least around a nine ball. I think he might be. He's really close to hitting that nine, so he might have that on his mind. Hopefully that doesn't distract him from the shot. He did that really well. Yeah, he did. He did that really well. Yeah, really straight. Yeah, really straight. He's looking to just roll it up, play it to the side. Like the right shot to me. Yeah, right in the corner. Like that eight ball's too straight, though, and he might actually have to put it in the corner. He may. He may decide to play in the corner or the side. You can stop it, play in the corner. Roll for it, play in the side. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to play this on the side. Ooh, just undercut to the hair. And he might have gone a little lucky on it, though. He might have. This is a. Can't tell. That's a switch to the other. Yeah, no, it's, it's, like, it's not a happy shot. I mean, all right. Evan plays the right shot here. I'll tell you, me, I'm almost just kicking this ball. This is a chance to really just kick it in, make it, win it. Yeah. It'd be hard to play a good safe. Unless he can't cut it, he's going to hate hitting it to cut when he's hitting for a safe. That's just a hard ball to hold. Like I said, I think I would have just gone for the dot. Because even if you do hit it well, leave a cue on the bottom rail, you're still leaving a, a bank backwards in the corner of it. So. <laughs> Was a pretty good roll on uh, Jonathan's part, though. You know, that's part of the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's part of nine ball. One thing I like about Jonathan's game, though, he, uh, he doesn't rush his shots. He takes a look at it. He's very methodical yeah. about it. I actually wouldn't mind seeing him speed up a little bit just to catch, you know, develop his own rhythm. Yeah, but you know, on the other hand, he's got that automatic to his game. Everything's just automatic. He knows where the key was in. That's one thing I think that hurts Jonathan sometimes. Really oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely need a, a certain flow to your game. Yeah.
like when I play Chris Kirk, I have a flow to my game. Like money flows from my pocket to his pocket. Uh-huh. It's the kind of flow that my game has. Yeah, all we do is trade money back. <laughs> yeah. By trading money, you know, he trades a one dollar for my hundred dollar. He gives me he gives me a dollar. I give him hundred dollars. That's us trading money. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, my mom laughs a little bit better for you. I played the skills and watch it keep playing. Alright, we're looking for the safety. Question is, does he have does he know where the cue ball is gonna be? Ideally. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got a side on that. Yeah, Terry, this is a nine foot Brunswick Centurion, five inch. It is Centennial. Yeah, Centurion. Centurion, that's right. That's me. Oh, fine parts for it. Oh, I bet, yeah. <laughs> uh, five inch pockets. Just to see what it yeah, the pockets are five inches in the corners. Um, I don't remember what the sides are. But, uh, you know what would be interesting? You know what we really would like to see is a, uh, since you do have a nine foot with a uh, five inch pockets, see about getting a good straight pull game. See if somebody went and play a 14 1 game in here. I'm sure it would, would be interesting. For yeah, to play to 150, do like a normal post style match. 150 would be good for something like this. Actually, 200 would be better for a longer style. Yeah, for 200. Yeah. Maybe 250. On the 250, yeah, uh, might be kind of. I mean, it depends on their uh, experience playing straight pull. I think I got three balls. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like uh, we've had a lot of nine ball action. We've had some scotch double action, which is good. Uh, it'd be nice to mix it up, though. Yeah, I want to see a three ball rotation game with some more scotch double scotch. Three, three ball rotation. rotation puts it a little bit more. For... Oh, for lower level, yeah. Yeah, I think it makes it a little bit more. Actually, I think uh, I think just moving the six ball might be a good idea. Six ball rotation. Yeah, play a six ball rotation game. Yeah, the only, I mean, as much as I enjoy one pocket and I uh, like watching the one pocket, this, uh, I'm not sure uh, one pocket would be ideally on this table, especially <laughs> if you're real good players. Yeah. Not only that, but one pocket can be good. <laughs> and Jill also, Justin brings up a good point. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We should get some good Jack and Jill. Yeah, I need to find me a partner for a good Jack and Jill tournament or, or a match. I need to think one. I think it'd be I nice. I don't know. I, 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 and everybody throws in two or three hundred dollars to start with, or then when you take something. Well, no, I mean, we could do a. No, I mean, we could definitely do a multiplayer thing. We could do a uh, a race of 20, like three, pe three people play, but. Two people play each other. Winner stays on the table. So I have a king of the hill. Yeah, king of the hill. And the first one to uh, win twenty games will uh, wins all the money. Really, lets that king of the hill though get a uh, get in the motions of just winning. Now, Justin, don't uh, you don't need to be bashing. You don't judge me on my fly watching. Okay. I mean, as bad as I play. Much poop as I put out when I play. There's flies around, all right? Yeah, I enjoy them. So I heard you can bet on flies, though, when you get enough beer bottles laying around. Well, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a uh, typical, uh, typical experience here. Like it kind of waited a little while, and then we got down on the shot at really kind of unscraped it. has joined us. Hello. By the way, uh, 
just want to remind you guys, since they are very humble, um, if you guys ever see them around, or if you guys want to show your support, not an easy, they do put a lot of work. They put a lot of effort into uh, <laughs> making this happen. So you guys, uh, if you guys have a chance to see them or any way you can show some gratitude, I'm sure they would deeply, deeply appreciate it. All right, Dem, looks like you might be getting a little loose now. Just that I don't really need to be able to watch it on screen or anything. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Ooh. Not quite so down yet. Just about there, though. Very, very close. I think it's Jonathan, a little tougher shot. See, uh, Justin, the trick is not to watch the live stream one pocket. The, the trick is to wait for it's over, get on whatever you can get on, and then just put it on 10 times the speed. And then you have a good, <laughs> exciting one pocket game. Or you just let somebody cut out all the uh, walking around the table, measuring stuff with a tape measure. And I'll do it like those. Uh, do like the. Uh, the <laughs> Do like the NFL channels where you watch uh, three minutes of football and NFL channel, the whole game yep. played off in three minutes. <laughs> the whole game in one pocket is done in about 38 seconds. Jonathan comes up a little short on that one. So Devin has an opportunity again. <laughs> All right, let's see. Making a run again. I'm gonna have this uh, four game win streak. <laughs> you know what we need to do? You know, uh, if you've seen the sports app that show the percent, the chance of percentile winning chance of a uh, at that moment, yeah. you gotta have a graph going up and down. So, you know, <laughs> so, uh, Right now, it's getting a little bit closer to the we'll get a pie 50 chart. 50. We'll just put a pie chart on there and mm. it's slow the game. Right, right, right. <laughs> Two sides. But it's nice graphing it through the whole match so you can see how the uh, momentum changes. We could get it really intricate, you know, with safety comms and suddenly it shifts all the way over. I can break here. I'm kind of expecting to see a couple of balls uh, drop on the Evans break. Or we haven't seen any jump on that. So, so far, well, I think we'll have to pull on. I'm just wondering if they agreed on uh, using triangle or not, and specifically not going with a template. Uh, they agreed to specifically not play with the template, and but the other agreement was there was no three foul. One one player, <laughs> one player much prefers the three foul rule. So <laughs> they both took both of those away. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we don't get a situation where a, a three foul will be needed. Then let's make those situations. Well, Justin, it seems like you volunteered for yourself for a nice job. Make sure you wear <laughs> something uh something revealing. Yeah. Something for the audience. Yep. We'll uh we'll get a hold of Sauce Boss and then see if he's got any tank tops you can wear. Well that's true. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, right now they're still depending on the uh, the table to be racking really tight. So I think he was just trying to play a wing ball, just get the balls opened up a little bit, <laughs> trying to keep th things under control, like a, as if it's still a magic right. Relax, relax. That's more relaxed. Let's see if I'm. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I think it'll probably it'll be a sack of balls from the Jonathan. It'll be um, stream, maybe. Yeah, we're uh, just have them sitting in the corner anyway. 
By the way, Matt, yeah, we're uh, we're still in negotiations with Joe Rogan to uh, come and commentate. His his schedule is really busy right now. Right. He says he'd love to. He just doesn't have the time. I heard he has some notes to play. Oh yeah, Joe Rogan plays. He plays good. Yeah, he plays really well. I mean, I guess if I had Max Everly helping me with my game, I might be able to make a ball or two too. That is probably true. I'm actually kind of surprised they never got Max on the uh, on his stream. Well, I don't know if you've met Max Everly, but that's funny. Yeah, well, he he'd be the he'd bring the entertainment. I'll guarantee you that. Well, you don't know what he's going to say. I think he's, he's got some interesting team. ideas. But you don't know what he's going to say, but I guarantee you, it will be interesting. Yeah. What, what did he say to the he can, uh, he, anybody wants to, uh, do a little search for, uh, Max Eberle and his, uh, his ideas, his thoughts and ideas. Bigfoot. On a slow day. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing some videos of Joe Rogan on nine foot tables and I mean, you can tell he's still learning. He, he was tight form, but really good stroke. I mean, fundamentals were really good. Just a little tight. Michael Jones? You want to drag him up from Florida? I don't know. He was back in Atlanta. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Dustin and uh, Zach are going to be up. And next week's match is actually going to be uh, now. Uh, oh, okay. But then we'll be back without it. Uh, Justin Pope and Zach between us. Yeah, we're we gonna be uh, we're gonna be on location for that, right? Yeah, we're going to Q's, so we got permission for Terry to stream at his bar. Wait, Mike Jones is in uh, Macon now. Is he living there or is he just visiting? I haven't seen him in a while. Looks like he has like, some mutual friends. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you you be around pool long enough, you know, get to know most everybody. Oh, in case you guys don't know, uh, Michael Rollator is actually here commentating with me. Yeah, no, but nobody cares. Nobody cares about we that. Care. We care. They're trying to mute me as much as they can. I'm afraid they're installing software just to mute me. They can listen to you. Have you seen that? Uh, Different M. Jones. Have you seen where uh, YouTube has that? If you do have something that could be copyright, that they have a little filter that tries to take it out. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I did see. I think it took out some of my audio more than my boots. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Sorry, Justin, I didn't know there was a different Mike Jones. Yeah. Yeah, I guarantee you, if uh, that Mike Jones from Florida comes in, he would be entertaining. Uh, who's that? He's, uh, he's a good player. He's, he's... I don't know if he'd, uh... Get too loud. He's kind of so quiet spoken a lot of times, though. But when he does talk, it is funny. Let's see about Looks well, though. I think he had the right idea. If he makes it, if he hits it that hard, he gets the six and the cue ball out, he'd have a shot on it. Just didn't quite make the combination. Yeah, I could. From, uh, that was uh, Jonathan there during his own commentary, mentioning that he dogged it, by the way. If you know <laughs> Jonathan, any missed shot is a dog shot, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the other reason we have to have the, pox, uh, the plexiglass box. <laughs> Keep all the players away from us. Yeah, except that uh, this Mike Jones is a good quiet. Yeah, this guy really has to leave the video from his Tricky. Apparently, he can get through it. He's got some daylight. Oh, he can hit the ball with that. 
try to get behind the sub nine. Yeah, you want to move that hand over. Oh, it almost touched the cue ball. Maybe he's <laughs> watching the six ball. <laughs> Yeah, Justin, I think the uh, betting window is still open. I don't think we've got a full tally on all those numbers yet. Um, actually, I haven't put the poster out for that one yet. So, yeah, that one is uh, one Normally, I put the poster out a week ahead of time. So that lets everybody make bets and also make bets. Gives people uh, time to see what's going on before that. All right, well, here's an interesting little tester for John. All on the rail. Got it. Just got to make it. All yeah. of something else, too. Just make this ball, but. Yeah, it's a little thing. It's definitely a, not an easy shot. Um, it's a match between Justin Pope and Zach Green in summer tournament. Love a cut because of it came a little bit further down. Of course, nothing ever easy for Devin. He's jacked up over the nine just a little bit. Yeah, that works actually. Just shooting to the side of it, so he should be fine. Long bridge, a really long bridge. You tell with that. That's Devin's normal bridge, too. He always shoots pretty bad. It's, yeah, it's long, long, but it's not that long. He knows he didn't really get a great, great fall through to get to that shot, which is why the keep all went up a little bit more. He's just not completing his shots right now. I don't think he was expecting to roll down the Yeah. And he cuts it. Nice, nice cut. That is actually very nice. That was a really good cut. I yeah, yeah. Expecting to go for the great snack. recovery okay. shot. Folks, we might have some second half betting going on here in a little bit. It looks like we lost the spectator. Chris Kirk might have left. <laughs> or he's fighting upstairs with a bear. I don't know. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was sitting in my backyard yesterday. Heard some rustling in the bushes. Got kind of scared. Turns out it was a cow. So, oh, a cow? <laughs> <laughs> You know, scary. cows can be kind of scary. Oh, yeah. They carry like knives and stuff on them. A little bit of cat. I do get a little bit worried about my cat being inside some cows. Coyotes. <laughs> yeah, he's playing a soft break. Kind of make that corner ball. Yeah, he is. It's about half a time of the offense. Yeah, I don't, I, right now, with the triangle, the way the uh, table is, I kind of try to do that. Anybody? Well, let's be honest, most anybody's welcome to come and commentate. For a little while, at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they say, yeah. Uh... Too much. Right. Nice cuts. Very nice good. soft cut. See, that one's got a lot softer vein than uh, Jonathan does. Yeah, looks like he's starting to relax now. Yeah. He's starting to get into his beard a little bit better. Right, we're handling not on incidental contacts. Now that Devin's got the ball situated the way he needs it, he's got to off to the races or off to the safeties.
Not a bad that was safety. definitely a much heavier safety, safety for you. Yeah. Not that's a bad safety. safety. He needs to tie it up to the floor a little bit more, though. I think he's still left a one row kick. on the stream. I do have a few other people that are looking for matches from those people I texted you a couple days ago. So it's kind of hard to find matches for some people. Here. Of course, the other thing that I'm really trying to, what I'd like to see happen personally is, uh, is having uh, two players who have never met just to play nice, long, you know, hopefully at close level, obviously, but it'd be nice to have two people who've never met, long race format for a good amount of money, and just see how it goes. That's going to happen on the 20th, actually. Neither one of these players will be. Oh, really? Justin and uh, Zach don't know each other? They don't know each other. Okay. They've heard of each other. Okay, well, yeah, it's hard to not hear of most pool players that's wanting to play. Then, uh, you know, also with David and Daniel. No, they've met. They've known each other. Well, they said they used to be on a team, but they never really met or talked. Well, neither one of them do a lot of talking. I think they're both kind of quiet on their own rights. Yeah. But, yeah, paper. Well, yeah, they, uh, I know they used to play monsters against each other. No, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, yeah, unfortunately. All right, and we have a, uh, a new guest commentator here. How are you doing today? Oh, this is a telephone. This is technology. Oh, this is pork stuff. Will we try one? Philly cheesesteak casserole. What's that? Yeah, Interesting, Sean. I think I don't know what he's trying to do. Maybe he's just trying to stun it. I believe I would have tried to play it into the uh, nine ball for that. <laughs> uh, my apologies, by the way, to anybody that saw me streaming yeah. last night. Uh, we were trying to get stars activated on the channel. And kind of a pain in my ass. So I wasn't able to get it activated. I'm not really sure. And Facebook is not really the best one to support. No. If you did watch, if anybody did watch, then uh, you actually see John get down a little bit. That's all right. That's very true. Get my ass kicked. <laughs> But that's a really that's nice shot. That was great. And a really good speed. Holds it struggling for the nine. I think John has had enough of the once it's here. He's ready to, he gets five to three. get this going. That was a good one.
Yeah. Yeah, it changes the text. That's why we just put as much in there. Right. It's easy. Sorry, guys, we're talking about uh, back house stuff here. So get all that. We get the uh, IT, IT, a little discussion with the uh, technician here. December, I believe. December. First of December. That's how far the matches are booked out right now. And I'm going to try to keep them about a month. And if you don't, if you want to play on stream, that's cool. I'll play you off stream if you want. Nice throat. That's what I feel like we should be seeing from John this time. And uh, anybody that's watching right now, you can uh, share this. That actually helps us out pretty tremendously. Appreciate it. You know, I was trying to grow the channel. The more you guys uh, help us out, the more you guys can contribute to the um, community part of it, the more it helps us. Of course, that includes anybody that's on the YouTube, if you guys are on YouTube or you want to make comments, even after the stream's over, if you make comments, just to help the uh, algorithm a little bit. The algorithm loves comments. So if you guys could just say something about anything. That plays a little selfie. How Jonathan wants to reply to this. He's going to bank at the side, bank at the corner. First of all, I get a little safety put in the uh, nine ball on the bottom rail. Yeah. Yeah, that would be an offensive one right here instead of the safety one. Well, I was thinking more hitting, this area. hitting a little bit thinner, hitting it harder. I believe the uh, ball is on opposite rails across the table. He was trying to butt up against the five. Yeah, I think uh, until you really get the speed down, that shot's gonna probably hurt you more than not being right now. And once you get the speed down, then yeah, I think that's a fine shot. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Devin's gonna relax. Devin's gonna forget he's on stream and. Yeah, that's one thing I would change about Devin's game, though. It's, I'm going to be hypocritic about it, but I would shorten his stroke up. Which is pretty long. I think it's more of just a play style thing. Well, it is. I mean, I, I've got a long stroke, too, but I, I know it's cost me in the past. And if things aren't absolutely perfect, it's going to hurt you. Yeah. But I definitely reduce your, your margin of errors. Yeah, that's the thing. You watch the... Chinese players like Yap and those guys, they all have pretty good. Yeah, very compact strokes. Yeah. Five four. Yeah, I think it's just an older style versus a newer style. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's not really older. I guess it's not a lot of region you're playing though. Well, it may be, but I just know a lot of the older players had longer strokes. A lot of the newer players, the younger players you see now, just have really smart, compact strokes. All right, so Devin closes the lead down to one. Thank you, Devin. Yeah, I appreciate the live stream.
Yeah, so it'll be a, an interesting uh, on the 20th when uh, we go to Q's and Marietta going to Terry's place and uh, have that match. It's going to be Saturday night, so there'll still be the Saturday night tournament and the regular uh, crazy people on the small table. So it'll be a def definitely different experience for the stream. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to get there early so we can get a rush. I'll probably call Terry and see if we can reserve the table. I have to bring a drink for this too. Okay. And I got my bag here that has all my camera equipment in it. So we'll yeah, we'll probably get the entire tech crew out there to uh, get things running right. You mean me and Nisi? Yes. Well, I'm no, I, I meant just Nisi, but yes. Nisi is a tech crew. Into the chat. Yeah, I'm also welcome to the chat. Good to have you guys here. Meet my friend uh, from New Zealand to uh, start watching the stream briefly. That way we can say we stream across the world. We have fans. <laughs> Actually, you know where the other place is that a lot of people watch the stream? India. <laughs> really? Yeah. How much does that cost you? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get those numbers up somehow. Chris Kirk has re arrived. Oh, and that is right, really, really, really nice uh, touch shot there. Ooh, it's a nice favorable bump. Rub the five ball a little bit. Bump, you don't give him the easier shot. That's the nine. Thank you. We are. Route to maybe uh, even this game out. Definitely looks like he's a little bit more comfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Than, you can know. definitely see in his uh, just his posture that he's uh, much more comfortable. Good shot, good shot. Yeah. Let's get more relaxed, opening his stroke up a little bit more. That's just what we were talking about at the beginning of the match. Later in the game, we'd see him loosen up. All right. I'm done. Five to five. Now we get to see how uh, we see how Jonathan reacts to this. Now that uh, Devin might be putting more pressure on him here. I think we're definitely going to see a gear con out of Jonathan here. He's probably going to run a couple of racks. He's had one breaking run and. and I'd like to see one more. All right, now we're starting uh, back after uh, 10 games, even. It's a uh, race to 25. Uh, apparently 20 games left on each side. But uh, thanks for joining us here, Davia. Appreciate it. 
Thanks for joining the chat. Thanks for uh, joining the stream. Yeah, if you look at the uh, bottom of the rail, you see where it says race 25. It's a, it might be small. I can't tell. All right, well, Devin's given up an opportunity. I'm got moment. really lazy on that shot, though. Yeah. Kind of jumped up. Yeah. Looked like he had a very confused look on his face. After yeah, I don't think he ever locked a shot and just decided to go through the motions anyway. Oh. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, the person here speaking is uh, John Ashbury. Ash 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 oh, the Silver Tongue Devil, that is a. Uh, That's John. Go later. I seen his tongue the other day, catching with silver. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Appreciate it. Or to hit the Mr. like, Gibbs. subscribe, and give shout outs to Tim Gibbs. Give a shout out to the get Tim Gibbs. <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't uh, Tim's first rodeo of being shouted out at. <laughs> and, that, uh, him and the Blender House. I think both players probably want to shout out to their parents because I think both their parents are watching it too. So <laughs> shout out to both of the players' parents. Y'all are doing. <laughs> Kind of a tough call. Yeah. By the way, for the guys who uh who uh, do not play all the time or not as much experience, you should practice with the bridge. You should spend quite a bit of time practicing with the bridge. Or you just play bridge. What? You just play bridge. <laughs> I think that uh, I think I probably would play the real bridge. Maybe sure. I should come around for you. Yeah. Bridge pull. Yeah. You can only play with the bridge. Oh. Mess up your energy. Bank, people that would definitely play some eyeball bank. Oh, yeah, yeah, banks. We definitely would welcome banks. They probably want a certain amount of money per rail, though. Well, I mean, however you want to do it, there's plenty of ways of doing it, but <clears throat> that's, the, that's the hustler way to do it for rail, and then just do nothing but three rails. I mean, I think we're pretty open to most ideas. Oh, yeah, even playing a carom, playing a carom a ball, carom your object ball off of the key ball. Watch. I played Carom a few times and not the best at it. Yeah. I don't know how exciting that would be for the viewers in the long race when everybody's just missing every shot. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe a long race. Was... About why they're hitting the three ball instead of hitting the Well, ball. yeah. But I'm thinking, you know, a good long race, like a race to a six, <laughs> might be about four hours for some people. Why make uh, one pocket look exciting? <laughs> I was saying three ball rotation. Nice and easy game. And he gets a little kiss. I was going to say, I think it's not a little bit. Yeah. Devin with a good sporting tip. Yeah, because I didn't know himself. I didn't know to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't probably know himself, though. I think both of these guys are really good about calling the fouls on themselves. Yeah. At least. The best players to play against their bonds and all they're not here just for the money. We well, were in the biggest stuff. We saw some people playing some fouls and they weren't calling them on themselves at all. Yeah. Very good players, too. <laughs> or people that'll foul, not call them themselves, and then if you make an incidental foul, they lose their mind. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, next time we go to Vegas, we'll do a lot more streaming out there. I think we have a better setup for uh, moving it with us. Oh, yeah, absolutely now. Yeah, no. I, um, John John just said their parents are listening. We can't have those discussions right now. Oh, my mistake. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
little bit of friendly banter. Nice stroke on Dylan. Hey, Bogan. Holds up for the nine. Straight in. Can we do one where the uh, opponents can talk shit to each other the whole time and you just ride a shirt to your opponent? I want to. I'm actually looking forward to a. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to a Moscone style. Just get this place packed up with a bunch of people yelling between shots and screaming and cheering. And I would leaving. love that. Actually, if one of you is not, but with a three three person team on both sides. Oh yeah, yeah. Would be uh, would be my uh, dream. Oh, so we actually have a, a team event and have the fans and mm -hmm. they're just yelling and screaming at yeah, each other. That'd be quiet while they're making the shot. Anything mm -hmm. between that? Well, guys. mostly quiet while they're shooting the shot. Yeah, we'll have we'll Nisi running around telling everybody shush. shush. And if they don't shush, no, they Nisi's not shush. Shush. She's, she's the one yelling the loudest. <laughs> Jacob Ritter, Sauce Boss, I appreciate the shares, by the way. Uh, it really helps us out. We appreciate it. Anybody who's watching the channel who uh, who uh, is not following the uh, stream, by the way, if you want to hit that follow button, that uh, helps us out a great deal. M. Gibbs, we appreciate that like, man. Shout out. Big shout out to uh, Big shout out to him. Not a stranger's shout outs at all. Though he's used to uh, getting shout-outs in Vegas, not in this no, location. We're not nearly as big as Vegas. No. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we might actually have another shop um, before long to put a couple extra tables in. Yeah, that would be nice. A little bit bigger than this one. Yeah, then we'll have to get twice the equipment, two sets of uh, commentaries. Bigger commentary booth. Simulcasting. We we'll have a kitchen in there. <laughs> we'll sell beers. The bank hits it pretty good. Oh, just a little inside. Or like it nicked it just a little. I think Chris Crosby said that he's down for that team match. By the way, anybody else has ideas, we're they'll listen. All sitting in a pretty tough spot. Because yeah, you definitely have to figure out how to get on the five, go from the five to six. Mm -hmm. well, that's pretty that good. Is, he hit it well, but he's still jacked up. Or at least he's shooting between two balls. Or at least yeah, he did well enough to get between the balls. It'll be a quick ref on that one to not snipe the six with his cue. I think all you have to do is avoid the eight, and we're doing well. He was a big, big ball. I think uh, Chris Kirk might want to check the chat for a moment. Imagine you heard it, but if you didn't, uh, Chris respectfully declined the offer. Oh, well, looks like you might get a little safe in this. But he said, keep the offers coming. Is that that eight ball is right in the way? I think that would get this off of the rail, but it's still pretty far from the rail. All right, we're going to get to your first jump for today, right? That's, That's a long way to stretch for a jump, then. 
Yeah, don't get you don't have to get a lot of hype of this though. Yeah, you don't want to overdo it. I don't know. That is a really, really nice jump shot. Jumping since the day he was born. <laughs> Smart shot, just a little stone follow. Yeah, a little stone follow, just set the angle on the nine. Don't try to create any more ones there. And Jonathan capitalizes on the jump shot. Yep. He puts it at seven and five. Yeah. Let's him pull away yeah. again. <laughs> oh. We did see Devin catch back up from uh, three games, three games behind. So. Game Only uh, two teams, Chris. Two teams, three people per team. Uh, it'd probably be two hundred dollars per entrant. Now that's not to say that you couldn't develop other. Uh, uh, that's not to say you can't develop more teams and just go into the next match. Like no, you have a a, a long term uh, tournament. Stream an entire tournament. Yeah, have a tournament over you know messing over a month. It would be nice to have like. Oh, yeah. One low player per team and then two high players per team. Or we could do five person teams and do two low players and three high players. Yeah. I mean, we're open for either. Four you know. function? Oh, oh, sorry, Tim. Uh, you're uh, actually taking Chris's horse. So I believe uh, there's a chance that uh, Chris Kurt here has uh, invested already on John. So. <laughs> All he would be doing is uh, well, hold it if you want hold it. <laughs> Oh, Devin has an interesting situation here. Looks like he's going to try to cut it in the right, stand it across. Hit it really, really well. That little unfortunate. No, I think he's fine. I thought he might be jacked up, but I think he's fine. It's broke. I think you got a little place on that last shot, though. But I think you stroke through a little fast. Yeah. yeah. He did have to hold it for a three, so. So uh, just joining the channel. We appreciate you guys being here. I hope you enjoy it. And we put one of these on a week. We uh, try to put everything together for you as best that we can. Oh, that was a nice, nice little. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe. Actually, I think he left some daylight. Ah, it's a great idea.
Hey guys, um, we're gonna close the stream down while Brandon goes shoots his ACS match. Will we be uh, <laughs> we'll be back later. We'll take the uh, two players off to lunch, have a little dinner, watch a movie, get some lobster. Yeah, have some, yeah, get some lobster. And, and then as soon as Brandon lets us know he's back, we'll uh, proceed with the stream. Mm -hmm. For you, boy. Don. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. At least this uh, bridge lets him jack up over the ball pretty easily with that. Well, yeah, smooth. it's very versatile. Chris Kirk, not a fan of the uh, bridge. To find the hole, think stretch. That's a that's a tough that's a tough scratch. Not sure. Could be right on this. One. Not usually right. You get a replay, ref. I'm pretty sure it's scratched. I don't think we need a ref for that. So if we can't put uh, Kevin in enough spike shape, he has to have this quick little fair look to him, you know. <laughs> hey Ryan, how we doing, man? Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, John, like I said, John, we're going to see probably the same game for most of the day. The same kind of misses, the same makes, a few dumb shots. But with Devin, Devin's uh, biggest problem right now is just his consistency. Yeah, he's definitely shooting good. Pretty good stroke. Yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff is fine. He's just. Yeah. Good shape right there. I just think with uh, Devin, if he uh, fine tunes a little bit, works on his focus. So he's going to keep the ball in the corner. I'm going to think he'll be all right. Ooh, I don't that's think that's what he had in mind. Yeah, that's a tough splash on the side from there, too. It's a tough break. It's a tiny window coming from that angle. Such a tiny window to get in that side. Bucket. Right. This table, very good at taking those balls and running. That went flex the side a little bit, but he gets away with it. Been a six. That's the interesting thing about nine ball I find too is just the you can really run quite a bit of balls and just once the yeah well up in one draft. Right, I mean that's true, but I mean at this level, if you're missing eight ball or nine ball, you're supposed to get punished. Not that you're not that you deserve to win, but you certainly don't deserve to be beaten. I definitely go the guy can't make it any nice. You definitely get punished quite a bit of this. <laughs> Yeah, I've stated in fact, man, the pass between these two players because they're so different styles that if you uh, combine their styles, you would either have a really great pool player or you'd have the worst player you've ever seen. I don't know which. <laughs> but it, it really is night and day with their styles. You'd have a Jeffrey DeLuna. <laughs> That's what you'd have. Still trying to make that corner ball, that wing ball, but not quite. <laughs> Looks like he was a little bit low on it, I think. 
Yeah, right I think, right I think right the, right. Uh, the wing ball's coming more towards the end rail than the side rail, so. No, both of these guys were here yesterday practicing, and I saw them make quite a bit of those when corner balls on break. You also remember that the uh, the temperature of the humidity is different, so the table's going to break different. That's I mean, true. The table could break different. Humidity is actually the same in here right now as it was last night. We have it at humidity control, but temperature is right. definitely a little bit. I mean, it's a little cooler in here today than it was last night. Yeah, Jonathan using every single bit of that side pocket to get it. Mm -hmm. No wasted space there. I didn't hear you hear a fork drop. Why did you hear the fork drop? I think uh, Nisi's uh, horse is uh, getting away, so he's trying to help things out. We should make a rule if we do this mass county match, though. We can't have air horns in here. That shit would be way too loud. Yeah. Tambourines, stuff like that. I don't know. I'm going to bring that, bring back the Volvo Suelas from the Olympics. Those big old long horns. <laughs> those, those things didn't last, last long enough for a trend. We need to definitely bring those back. Like he's going to be uh, playing a save right here. Oh, he missed the six. Yeah. Can't go. Tried to thin it. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he, uh, he could have seen it or if he whiffed it. <laughs> that seemed like a pretty big miss. I could just barely see the edge of it, but didn't see enough of it. I put a little bit too much time on that. Yeah, I think he rushed the timer session a little bit quick. Thought about uh, make sure he gets around it. I'm um, just laying down a safety here. I don't think this is worth trying to rush over. No, I think I would probably go for this. Well, the bridge is getting some mileage today. We get some mileage at some point. By the way, we can thank John for all of our artwork on the blackboard over there. No copyright issues. This is just original art. Don't worry about it. It's nothing to do with anything else. Completely, uh, Completely. any depictions of any depictions of uh, any other artwork is purely coincidental. Very retro. Now this is kind of interesting because I can't tell if he can actually make this table or not. And if he does make the eight, it's going to be pretty hard to do. Was right there. Already control the cue ball. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that thin cut. You got to be really, really careful. So, how's it going, Joey? Welcome to the stream. Not that spears that across the corner. Yeah, it ran the pocket. A great shot. Absolutely spears that ball across the corner. Like a hanger. Eight six. No, it was a hanger. It was a hanger across the table. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't play scared. I would just fire it in. I think they're going to take a five minute break and we'll be uh, right back with you guys.
Once again, the uh, players are on a little bit of a break. But for your entertainment, we have uh, John Ashburn there just uh, showing his uh, prowess. Oh, yeah. Just doing that one go a lot. Yeah.
All right, everybody, uh, action is back. I'm going to fade the six up a little bit, about to break. Players still trying to figure out how to uh, make a winged ball. They're trying different size tables, which you're supposed to be doing. That could be a nice, interesting safety idea. Ooh, side pocket kind of roll, rub that idea from the dough. If it gets past the side pocket behind the uh, nine ball, eight ball, it should have been fine. A good idea. Tries to dig down. We love it. Alright, I've had plenty of room on the one lot. Kind of draws the two a little bit. Hello, everyone. Back for the grand finale. Is this the break? I uh, no, no. Uh, this is the second, third inning. Second inning, I believe, actually. We haven't uh, had a try to uh, dig down to get the cue ball back and missed a shot. Hey, Ryan, whenever you want to come and do the chicken dance during uh, halftime, just let me know, man. We can hook that up, make that happen. Do make, make Ryan dancing would be a nice halftime show. He's got enough more on this. I will say he's got enough more on this. Really, I'm not going to think of it. Hey man, I'm down for getting a real Kobe crowd in here. Do we, uh, Ryan, we talked about that in the past. Uh, the, the idea I had is that we just get a bunch of monitors like you see on uh, WWF with a bunch of faces <laughs> all cheering and yelling and stuff. So in the background, you have monitors with a bunch of people on there just reacting like idiots. I actually talked to a mural artist about coming in here and uh, painting the walls. We'll just get um, the set and glue them in the wall. <laughs> we'll get like the whole show. You're doing a good job. 
He's the best, the best shot I've ever seen. Get Brandon on the other one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, since uh, Brandon's probably in ACS pool match right now, I'm going to talk to him. But he's probably hearing a lot of Let's Go Brandon jokes right about now. But he is tired of it. That's a really, really, really nice shot. Good touch. Oh, that was a good touch. Boots the puck a bit. It's about five. What a weird angle of nine. It's kind of interesting. I think I remember him missing that. Like <clears throat> think he undertook last time. And six. This is really in this map, too. <clears throat> it's weird when you're almost 10. But you still have more than double that to go. <laughs> yeah, I think uh five. At least we're past a quarter of the way done. Mm -hmm. Figured out the break now. That was all on the break now. Yeah, you finally got it. See if you can keep doing it, if you can replicate it or not. See if Devin will switch to the other side of the uh, table, break the left side instead of the right side. <laughs> Thank you. For those of you that don't know, we actually have a Twitch channel that's running right now, too. Never gets any viewers. We just like having it up. with a combination. Uh, Twitch is a platform used for gamers only um, to showcase their skills or to showcase hot girls and hot tubs. Yeah, it's just another uh, streaming platform. Yeah. Actually, GoPro has their own streaming platform now, too. And if you have a GoPro, you can stream on their platform. Hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, well, Amazon, I think, actually uh, teamed up with Twitch. So yeah. theirs is part of Twitch. I think they own Twitch. Yeah, I was going to say, it's owned by Google. Right? It's Alphabet. Alphabet owns all that now. Yeah, it's you know, half of everything anyway at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, our company is going to get bought out by Amazon. <laughs> actually, we got bought out by Siemens. So Siemens is a bigger company. I was thinking he probably would want to go off the five anyway. Maybe he was just trying to make it. Yeah, that would have been rough. I don't think he was in need for touching the five at all. Yeah.
And I don't know what's what's changed in Devon recently, but he seems to uh, be tightening up a little bit more than he usually is, or than he was earlier. So trying to get his head back together. Still way early in the match to worry about it. Uh, that is exactly right there. Yeah, that is a touch card. I think I like going three rails to get back on the seven after that six ball. I don't think I like trying to stay on the seven off that side. Oh, I don't think I'd have a problem with it. I just you just have to hit that a bit easier just to make sure it doesn't get that full. Maybe put maybe a, maybe a touch of inside just to help it inside the pocket. But oh, he had some inside on it. I think he oh, he did have some. If it was so full, it's hard, you know. Yeah, like I said, uh, I think one thing that John really needs to work on is his touch. Not so sometimes you just you have to have it. You yeah. don't have spear balls all the time. I think John. Seven. Yeah, seven. He could use a little bit of work on his touch, but I think he's got a good stroke. Yeah, well, he's got a fine stroke. I think he worries a little bit too much about uh, Dave. Look, that's one thing. Uh, yeah, if you, if you can't bring some finesse to the game, you're going to really limit your opportunities. Anything else I need to work on the stroke in there. Because it's okay to poke a ball. You need to learn that it's okay to poke a ball. You just, that, you just yeah. have to know where the cue ball is. Add Holzing, I appreciate the like. Appreciate you, man. Terry Richardson, I appreciate you following. It's great to have more people following the channel. Oh. Off again. Chris, uh, Chris Kirk doing his commentary curse. On the break. He's trying. He's hoping. Yeah. He's hoping that he's a good commentator now. That's the only thing I'm good at is sitting on my ass talking to Chris. Hey, everybody's got to have a special talent. <laughs> hey, it's a little swing out here. Yeah, I think you can go three rails and go on the two, though. That eight, this isn't eight, anything eight. too crazy. We had a king of king of Georgia, king or queen of Georgia match in here, where it's a uh, ten game sets, two hundred dollar buy in, just a tournament, hmm. stream it all day. Oh, and just people come and go as they want. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Set up a bracket. Set up times for all the brackets. Mm hmm. We'll go through about five or six uh, dozen commentary people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would need some help uh, commentating this for sure. Never know who's going to be on the mic at any given moment. Who is that? Santa Claus has already four of the games. Oh, even better yet, we'll just make the losers do commentary on the next match. <laughs> it's like adding it. Let's then, like then, rubbing then, salt in somebody's wound. Well, no, I, I think that would be part of the entertainment. They're, they're already angry. they lost. Let them get on mic and... Give their thoughts about their next match. Who would make it a winner? Winner, <laughs> winner gets all. <laughs> well, how about this race to eleven, two hundred dollar buy-in. Yeah, they'll uh, make it an eight eight player bracket. Yeah, uh, single elimination. Watch out, how you got coming in here though. Wow. Well, I mean, that's the point though, right? All right. I don't want to stick with the commentary. I think. Uh, if we do have the commentary, it's like I said, the losers commentate on it, then you would, uh, you, we'd have to have like a 30-minute delay so we can Set edit it. out all of the expletives <laughs> <laughs> so that by the time we get to the finals, <laughs> it's at the moment. <laughs>
It's a full draw shot, but not the end of the so He can hear us just fine. He can hear us. Or we try to say not so many cuss words. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could bring some nice people out though. Might bring Tim out. Might bring Mitch out. Maybe Jess if he's still on the channel might want to come out. <laughs> Which way uh John handles this. If he goes aggressive with the bank or if he actually tries parking between those walls. Hey man, what you want to commentate in the Chat is one as much as you want, brother. It's been long safe. I'm never a big fan of me playing the long safe. You might have put a little bit too much man into that. Yeah, I work on home safe. <laughs> yeah. I'm walking up to your house and play soon. You got to. Oh. Then one of the greatest things to plan is. Tim Orange told me the greatest thing about playing safety. I was like, man, I really don't play safety too often. He goes, well, safety's winning championships. And I was like, you're right. You know. Yeah. And after, after he said that, he started working with it. I started to play one pocket just to help out my safety game. I thought you played in one pocket because you felt like time doesn't pass slow enough. <sighs> Time definitely no. One Pocket's a fantastic game. If uh, if you don't know One Pocket, if you never learned it, even if you don't get into it or if you never become great, that helps with so many That's other aspects of your game. Oh, God, yes, it does. It's definitely worth at least learning. Your ability to play safe mm -hmm. goes up. And... Well, your your safes are improved, your banks are improved, your kicks are improved, just being able to see the table in a different way than what you're used to. There's a good stroke right there. Yeah. I think that Devin definitely, he has a really good shirt. Hey, Brant. I say let's go, Brant, he's back in the chip. Yeah, that's a nice cut. That was it, right there. Seven, eight. So, Brandon, could you enlighten yeah, us about how much you've been hearing let's go, Brandon, there in your matches lately? So, Brandon, how did your ACS match get, go? Everybody on stream is waiting uh, with anticipation. Oh. All of us over here had uh, side bets on your bread, on your uh, match, Brandon. So, you're going to give us an update sooner we know how to pay off. Got that corner ball finally. Hey, louder. Yeah. See, and I think this is one of those times where it really helps to know where your cue ball and your one ball are going to be. So this is like a perfect yes. opportunity to play a nice, easy kick safe. Oh, speaking of one pocket, um, this is a standard kick where you just, I mean, you should be able to do this anyway without playing one pocket, but you definitely need to learn how to uh, make this kick and stick the ball. Stop the cue ball. Right behind the saddle. Walk around, yeah. play the safe back. That is basically a very standard, standard safety play that you should know how to do. 100%. Yeah, I think I still like a kick over that. I like a kick. Up in top place, whether he wants to shoot this or not. Is that like the guy to go with nonchalant hand motion? Wait, make it. Devin plays the obvious bank. Right, in order he's to get down. play the obvious jump. Oh, 
Okay. Jump no, you can't jump that. It's, that's just too far to reach. You're going way across your body. If you're left-handed, you could jump that right-handed. That's just too far. Uh, that's a good point. Kick it in the back of the head. Again, a good time to know how to pull the cue ball on this kick. A really good player could actually draw that back behind the nine. Yeah. What about the English opinion? Yeah, you can definitely do the tell on a player's actual shot. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit faster. Yeah, there's, I mean, you know, people that like to practice a lot, if you have a lot of time to practice, and people like practicing the ghost and rotation patterns, which is obviously very important yeah. to recognize rotation patterns, but there's so many more things you've got to work on also. You need to learn how to play banks, play kicks, combinations, bridge work. I mean, there's a lot of aspects of this game if you really want to get oh, a lot better. It depends on what level you want to play at, for sure. But both of these guys seem to be wanting to uh, oh, yeah. make tell their game as much as possible. Yes. I mean, both of them are hitting mm -hmm. ring time than me and AV. It's funny, I played a tournament a few weeks ago, and my opponent's absolutely great run-out player. Uh, great, really good straight shooter. Plays really good shape. However, when things got dicey, he never even bothered looking for a safety. Because he, all he did was just play the ghost. So when you had an easy uh, safety opportunity, he would elect a, a low percentage shot, sell out, and he ended up losing. And like I said, he played uh, fantastic open table runouts. Never hardly ever got a line. Just wonderful player in that respect. But when it came to... Uh, Tough situations. I gotta be honest though, I have gotten the rap of a ghost a lot more than you see. Probably a lot of nine ball ghosts. You know, this shot, he's looking at one rail. I actually like going two rail. Two rails behind the board. Right. Yeah. Get on the up table. And then you'd probably get better action on the nine. Actually, it's going to hit straight on. That knee hit the great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you might have left him a shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not much. You gotta be careful with the big corner pocket that the cue ball's gonna be running towards. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that six, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that huge, huge ball pocket right behind the six, shoot it back up to the four ball, should sit down on the rail, probably. That was a really, really nice shot. That, that was a really good shot. Mm -hmm. Now, he has been playing one pocket with me lately. Evan. Than showing it the proper way to get behind that ball. It was a good shot, though. That was. He made a good, a good shot. Just another one of those instances where you really got to know where to kick. Well, Jonathan yeah, makes a good. really good two-row kick, but does not get rewarded. I think the last, the last two racks is into the banks on this thing. This should be easy clean up for Devin from here. Careful, you might go. Should just be still not that. Let's see though. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
tying it up. Nine nine. Devin's firing it in. Showing that he's not scared of this game anymore. I got a feeling we're gonna be here for a while. We made a close game. <laughs> I'm uh, probably gonna need some guest commentators here pretty soon. Chris Carter and Lisa sound pretty good. We're probably gonna look pretty good. Pretty good. See if Devin continues breaking on the right side if he switches over. Say hello to all our viewers out there. We appreciate you guys watching and being here and enjoying this experience with us. Pool addicts, pretty much. We appreciate you, uh, pool addicts, coming and hanging out. One ball again. Three balls just yeah, it out. but in his credit, he actually, I believe he's moved over from the corner, so he's breaking by the diamond out. Came closer to making the wing ball. Yeah, I mean, he's playing spot. Interesting shot selection. I think that was smart. He does. It's easy to line up on the three, even if it's a hard shot. Right, percentage right. Percentage trying to play shape on Oh, it. no, no. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I think, I don't think he actually could see as much as he thought he could. Mm -hmm. Could have. Like, could have done. Mm-hmm. That's why I couldn't tell from this angle is how much of that ball you could actually see. That's a banana pan, Matthew. Good shot, but again, it's, it's, you get rewarded for it. Once again, the uh, the other table is just tough, tough stuff on them right now. Looks like you're going to be breaking out the jump cue here. Won't be that bad of a jump. It's a big pocket. A little bit. You just got to get up and down. <laughs> yeah, at least it's straight in the pocket. <laughs> So, now I'm trying to figure out the correct gadget configuration here. Yeah, you put a lot more effort than probably needed to. Getting that short, went a big jump, went up really high. I think he just put a bit lot harder than he needed to.
I'll go back to that decision going up and down. Yeah, I'm trying to get us off and holding it. This is definitely the right way to play that shot. Yeah, I play like that time too, right? Yeah, that's all. Sorry if I haven't had a ball that I don't mean to. A nice slide angle on the eight. Done it on over for nine. Devin, once again, threatens to have the lead change, but Jonathan is up a good enough resistance. Move on to game number 20. Keep it at 9 for me, or keep it at 10 9. I wonder if anybody's having any uh, any regrets not taking that four game on a four game might have been a it's a tough one to turn down. I'm surprised nobody took up on that one. I had a tough one to turn down. I yeah. think I probably would have took it if I wasn't here. <laughs> I I really thought tonight would go pretty tight. I didn't think anybody would run away with this at all. Yeah, no, definitely it's pretty tight. Who all's in the chat, by the way? See, there's like uh, 15 people out there. Yeah, guys, if you guys want, can feel free to make some comments. Let us know how much we suck. Let us know how good we are, either one. Let us know how beautiful that is. And if you don't want to talk, you know, pool at this moment, you don't have to. We can talk about the way this uh, crochet theories. Ideas on the crochet theory. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's always new crochet technology coming out. You got to, uh, game theory changes so much day to day with crocheting. Matt said he's listing stuff on eBay. <laughs> Players is talking to us. We can talk about quantum mechanics if you want to. Now they like quantum mechanics. Sure, we could. We could get into uh, particle physics if you wanted to. If, if quantum's a little bit too heavy, so, I like particle physics too. You know what? I think we just move on to uh, quantum crocheting. I'm sure that's pretty cool. It, it is. Oh, and isn't a scarf at the same time? Yeah, you know string theory. What about crochet theory? <laughs> Everything is tied together in a knit oh. with an eternal silver. I think we're beating this dead horse now. A little bit. <laughs> John's getting a little bit more aggressive with the uh, break now. Got a nice spread. Yeah, nothing's signing up to you. Mm -mm. Nine foot table makes it a little bit easier. I just gotta do a little bit of back and forth with the cue ball, but hey, no, it's it's probably gonna come off the rail a little bit more than it did. This makes shape for the four any easier though, the shot. Well, you're definitely not straight in. Yeah, he did a good job of killing it to uh, avoid the eight, but Joey wants to talk about string theory. Joe 
Joey, how many uh, dimensions do you need to make your theory work? How different are each dimension? <laughs> hey, I think we just explained it in like two sentences. <laughs> At the beginning of that conversation, it's better off to define what a dimension is. <laughs> that part can get really confusing. So Joey's wondering that if, uh, oh man, if, if, if simultaneously while well, Devin makes this eight ball, if there's a uh, a, a two ball somewhere across the universe that's being made at the same time because Devin just made that eight ball. That's right. Of course, the, the ball would be spinning the opposite direction, obviously. Only is the dimension ball, which is the part that gets confusing. All right. There you go. Jonathan is 10-10. Oh. And Jonathan is uh, throwing the balls across the room now. At least we had some uh, emotion from some of the players here. Well, we have ourselves the uh, classic race to 15. <laughs> we can talk about quarks, too. Quarks and string theory kind of don't go hand in hand very well together, though. They kind of they kind of are in the opposite realm. Yeah, I think the challenge here would be to uh, talk quantum physics in terms of pool balls. It is 85% mental and 15% skill, like to just a different kind of mental. Yeah. About to get a, a resident, uh, our professional. Uh, okay. field analysis person in here. On a real note, though, I don't actually understand string theory too well. I can tell you more about quarks than I probably could string theory. Mainly just because I pull I pull carbon atoms apart for work, so. Right, the important thing to know about crocheting is that if you think you really understand crocheting, that means you don't understand crocheting. What's the first rule of crocheting? Don't talk about crocheting. <laughs> the first rule about pool club, you talk about crocheting. Ooh. Unusual miss from my shot. Yeah, it was a little bit unusual. You think they should be uh, getting a little bit tired? It might time? be. I don't know. I don't know. Still, I think uh, two and a half hours, not quite enough to get tired yet. Two and a half hours for uh, 20 games, though. He just didn't like the uh, transition from the sub six to the seven. He's going to let Devin deal with it. Good. Pretty good. What I would do right here, though. His name is Robert Paulson. Remember, his name is Robert Paulson. Now his name is safe behind the nine, seven. You know, and the safety plays in this match, since they're so close, like in skill level together, and the safety plays actually do make a pretty big difference. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. we need. We need a. By the time the stream is over, we need a we'll get some sort of hashtag stream of uh, all the different subjects discussed during the stream. <laughs> A little in service. Yeah. 18 shares, man. I really appreciate that, guys. That's awesome. That's a lot of shares. I appreciate that a lot. Well, I shouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. I think we appreciate that a lot. And also, word of mouth. Just keep talking about the stream. The more and more people are finding out about it. Yeah, I think we'll probably try to get a little sign to put up one where it queues in yeah, that stream. Yeah. That'd be a fun match too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's really um, yeah. We're all looking for that to match. And the other thing, nice thing about being oh. over there is because you have the louder atmosphere. Oh, yep. Music, Ooh. music might be figured out. Anyway, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> but uh, because there's a crowd, there's going to be a lot of ambient noises. We can actually be. A little louder on the mic. Yep. We don't right. have to worry about distracting players. You can yell at people. Randy Montgomery. I appreciate that share, man. I appreciate that a lot. Hmm. I feel like I appreciate the like. Thanks, man. That's a nice stroke. No, not doing anything fancy. And I think it's important to remember you don't have to get shape. You just have to get to the spot. You can make it right. small. Exactly. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need to be just slight angle. You... I think some people confuse that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, Sometimes you just have to put yourself in a slightly more uncomfortable shot. Totally. But... I think he decided to draw it back. So no, I think it would have played top. One row. One yeah, back. I thought so too, but he could be thinking about that side pocket too. So Jonathan scratched it. There is that. And That's a good shot. Have and our first... he retakes the lead. Yeah, we have our first lead change in a while. Second. Yeah, well, oh, it's it's middle. Middle. yeah, well. Since uh, rack, since rack three, yes. <laughs> Get a good picture of our long-haired friend uh, racking the ball. All right, well, we're seeing how that went. He uh, decides that this will be done in Vegas, right? And he is making weight ball this time. And he's going to get knocked behind the eight. Still, this breaks. I mean, he think he's figuring out how to make the wing ball, but. He really needs to be break, like breaking more aggressively. He needs to get those balls up a little bit more. There's no reason not to. It's still easy to control the cue ball. But he's just he's throwing a lot more hazards out than should be. He likes to push out. I, think, uh, I don't think there's really any problems with this right, though. The five seems like it goes by the nine. I think it's just on this shot, you just got to get on the two. You know, we haven't seen any balls get really locked up during any of their games. No, not really. We haven't seen a, a massive safety battle yet. 
thing is, I think you can just hold this, go one round, sort of keep the cue ball or the uh, contact point as of one, and still have a good shot on the two. But to power through it. Once again, guys, uh, from our angle, some shots are a lot harder to see than other areas. We have not had a single break and run yet. Oh, we have? Will we have one? Oh, John had one. Sorry. How was it? A nice little safety. Oh, just does mess that too. Right, so now it's just a question of which side of seven does he want to go by to get on three? Uh, yeah, outside of seven. It's a four or a shot. Fun this thing. Try to get on that five. That eight has got very large at this point. I guess they might shoot the side. You go into the nine or just rub it out. He sticks with the idea of going to the corner, look inside. Tough, tough shot. I think he got there though. Looks like he actually got there. Bumps broke. Bumps the five in a very, very nice spot. This should close it out, and this should get us back to a tied game. Going to make sure we uh, keep our head together. Not do anything crazy on the six. Or the seven, rather. Six. Yeah, he plays up and down. That's sort of his style. More open stroke. Hit really well down. He's got a little weird angle. You gotta be careful with that cue ball. He's gonna be uh, flirting with that side pocket a lot, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. Just means he's gonna be uh, on the rail more than he wants to be at the end of the shot. Had a really nice stun following himself there. I think he left himself a great angle. It's just looks like stop stop. That's it. Stop stop. That will close out this rack. It'll uh put us back tied at eleven. Trying to let people know this is going to be a good match. People thought that this was going to be a little bit further away. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people are trying to. I mean, and it's easy to uh, 
have a bias, personal bias, towards which style you like. And so you assume that style is going to play better than the other style. If that makes sense. People that are more mechanically driven, the ones that like the fundamentals, they're going to like John's game a lot. That like that sort of easier laid back, just play the game, not think about it, and do what comes to normal, or they don't like Devil's side that well. So, if you just look at both of them objectively, you realize hey, this is a. Hi there. This is a test message with Eric and Bacon, 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 It's a pretty good shot right there. <clears throat> You should get a try to make this. I guess a good angle. I think that's a, a double kick angle. A double kiss angle there. Sorry, guys. I think uh, a gremlin got a hold of the audio and went crazy. No, it, it was just us. It was on our headphones. I think we smashed it, so hopefully uh, audio will be fine again. Yeah, should be good now. Um, I I can't wear a hat while I play. It distracts the shit out of me. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't wear a hat either when I play. There's always I, I'm I'm just paranoid that it might make my hair fall or something, you know. No, just that, that worries me. I just don't want that to happen. Mm, let's see what you're saying. Let's yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah. Definitely want to watch out for that. Right, right, right. All right. I think it's found it. Makes sense. Yeah, we see the finesse of John there. Yeah, Actually, it's a good shot. Don't say anything bad about it. He got where he wanted it. I think he's going to run into the six ball on this. Actually, push the six ball down to the. I don't know. He might, he might try to draw past it. And play it up, play it down table, and then just uh, draw the cue ball back a little bit for the eight. Of course, you never know, John. He might play this four rails. He did in the far corner. Yeah. You could draw it back and just do two rails. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to contact him from that uh, rub the six ball. That's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Nice controlled bump. Mm -hmm. And Michael didn't believe me. <laughs> 
Probably did that Steve pockets a little bit though. Yeah, I mean, the only thing to be careful, obviously, you don't want to get behind nine, but you also you don't want to leave so much of an angle that you have, you're forced to go up and down with it. I had to go grab the bridge for that. Other side of the eight. Be a little harder though if you want to do that. I mean, you got obviously you have plenty of room to go by it. You can't see. Yeah, you can see on the overhead a little bit. There's plenty of room to go by. Now you're just going to have to. Uh, it's definitely going to make it a little bit harder than it. Yeah, than yeah. Well, I mean, especially at right handed, your your body's kind of awkward arranged now. But if you stay still, it's just make a nice long stroke. You're fine. You can really force this table in time. That was a good shot. He's yeah, going to end up on the fourth side of the nine. Yep. A little bit later. So to play the post side of the nine. Got a knife. Ooh, did overcut it. But he is going to leave Devon. Lucky enough, he didn't let rob the shot, though. Yeah. You're going to miss that shot. Let's overcut it. I'll come back. Here's the three though. Yeah, cut this ball in pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That one's good. I really hit that one. That's a thin cut. You really a lot of energy into that shot. That one. I played a little, played a little game of you take it, no you take it, no you take it. And I put John back in the lead, twelve and eleven. Like we have some of the gamblers going to take a smoke break. Yeah, I think uh, the railbirds have uh, left us for a little bit. So it's two iron devices. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> see Jonathan's smiling like a pig over there. It even sound like a burp. Yeah, that nine is really chasing a corner pocket. Jonathan over here doing crowd control. This is getting crazy. Oh, let's see if Devin sees it. I think he saw it. Yeah, I think he saw that too. Also, I, I, I don't really play the two-way shot there. Either make the one or just go for the nine. I think you go for the four. Or I think he shoots the ring. Yeah. I mean, you could do that. But I think that's the right play in this situation. It looks like he's actually going to shoot the four on the other side. That's the eight, though. He's got, he's got an opportunity to do a three rail bank here into the nine if he wanted to. Or a two rail. He can, he can uh, hit the four pretty thin. Devin is uh, taking liberties of uh, of our goodwill. I think he's uh, aware that you're, you're allowed to use any length of measure if something goes by or not. Pull a tape measure out of your bargain. Yeah, go, go grab a tape measure. Actually, the only exception to that rule is if you have ball in hand. 
can actually use the cue ball, which you have on hand. That's cue ball anywhere you want. And so you can use it to sort of see if the ball goes or not. Uh, it's, uh, but yeah, you're not really allowed to pull a ball out of the pocket to measure if the ball will clear or not. Yeah, I think I would have tried to play to the I, long I think, side of that forward and try to shoot the uh, four ball into the nine on that one. Yeah. Well, I was thinking even the shot he had, he could hit the fork then and send the cue ball two rails around into the nine. Yep. And that would have been a pretty safe shot, I thought, with the five there. Instead. John, they close it out with the combination. 13-11. I mean, this kind of looks like water. <laughs> David Martin, becoming a follower. Hey, man. Glad hey, to have you. you. Welcome in. Yeah, welcome, man. Glad you're following, and I'm happy that you're here. John's been breaking pretty well, but he comes up dry on this break. We got a little work to do, though. Devils try to play it safe, but unfortunately, the thing dies right in front of a pocket. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way it goes. Another thing, if you do practice safes, you gotta, you should know when you play a safe uh, where all your things are gonna be. Not only where the cue ball is gonna be, but you should have a good idea of where the object one's gonna be, where it's gonna stop. Yeah, I think that's definitely an important uh, part of that one right there. <laughs> but even so, I mean, this cue ball is no picnic. I can't tell. Maybe he's going for the combo here. Uh, I think he's a. Uh, can't tell if it clears. It might clear. Doesn't seem like that. Maybe. Hard to tell on our side, though. Right. I don't remember what the overhead. Uh, look, this isn't. This is still a fisheye lens of the angle that you actually see it. It's coming from the center of the table. So sometimes the angles you see aren't exactly right from what they're seeing. I just am not going to have enough energy. It's not a bad idea. Kevin was asking us if we keep on the rail. We are not referees. We're hardly commentators at all. So. We suck at this job just as bad as a second man the job. <laughs> I mean, we can't do our main job properly. No, I don't know why anybody expects us to do something else properly. Also, yeah, no, that's why I don't go to your trivia. <laughs> that's a pretty decent shot right there. See if he can get around this. Shoot this with a little bit of top inside, it should pop right in behind the four. That's pretty much what you said. Except for yeah. a little further down the table. Stroke, he's uh, 
Is it opening up again? Right there. Um, oh, there's curse. Well, no. The one I've noticed about uh, Devin's game, you watch him enough playing, um, not on stream, playing just uh, at the regular pool rooms or normal matches. His rhythm is a little bit faster. I think he's taking a little bit too much time between shots for his uh, for his speed. Yeah, that is very true. He's uh, putting probably more thought than he typically needs to. Yeah, I think it was him this before the match started. I think he plays a lot like I do, but and I have a really hard time if I take too long on shots. I just mess miss a lot of shots. Yep, it's the old uh, think long, think long, think wrong idea. I think thinking is okay. Standing like right behind the shot, that, that's the part that hurts. Like I could walk around the table, come right. back to it, and we'll spend a lot yeah, more. Yeah, I agree. But for someone like him who has, he's already got an idea what he wants to do with the shot. Standing there and looking at it is just going to sort of muddy the waters a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if it's a matter of not seeing it and taking your time and making sure that you can visualize the shot properly, yeah, that's probably get it. But that's not usually an issue that uh, Devin has. No, I don't know. Yeah, he has been uh, qu playing quite a bit the past couple of days, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, both of these players have actually put a lot of preparation in this match today. Getting back down to the nine ball after this eight ball, that's that's the tricky part of this shot. I think he, I don't think he went with the angle he meant to go down on. I think he meant to be a little straight on that eight. Yeah, I think he just tried to put top on that last shot, and I think he probably should have put top inside to get a little closer to that eight ball, be a little straighter. Top just threw his ball out way too far. Mm -hmm. I'll say, don't worry about that shot. Is if he can avoid the scratch, you know, I'll say four. Yeah, if he can avoid the scratch, that's actually his his uh, style of play. He likes that open shot. So if only draw two rails, so it's right where he wants to be. It's just 13 12. Uh, you, uh, John, that's your one. We did wrong in my personal analysis. I think you scratched. That's that's where the, uh, the mistake came in. Do that. Always spinning the ball a little bit forward. Uh, not hitting it as hard. Allowing the spin to take more, a little bit softer, so the spin takes off the rail. You, the, the ball, the cue ball went into the first rail pretty fast, so I didn't really have enough yeah. to take the spin. I thought I hit it pretty good. I know. I know. <laughs> Devin is uh, wondering why uh, the person who is up 13-12 is getting uh, instructions on how to play the game. He brings up a good point. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're trying to figure out why the guy's up is getting instructions. I know we will. We did. Thank you. And a couple of part of making a lead ball is the fact that he uh, he hit that a little harder. He's actually allowing the ball to open up, and that's yep. what he needs to be doing. What do you mean? Gonna be some cheese. Actually, it's going to get to the. Oh, did it touch the red? No, right before. Oh, right no. there. It looks like it's going now. To now Chris Kirk is back, and we have uh, our official referee back. <laughs> Foul ball. <laughs> the, it's a really good idea by Devin, though. I mean, he parked the cue ball right where it needs to be on the six, and if he makes it, he's fine on the two. But this is the part we can tell that uh, people's focus is starting to go a little out the window. Yeah, it's 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 going out a little bit. It's hard to stay focused and uh, you know keep your strength up for this many racks. Oh yeah, that's the exciting part about it. And not to mention the amount of energy it takes to tune us out. Nah, yeah. 
especially when it's in a quiet place like this. There's yes. not a lot of background noise. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's all more reason to, to do the Masconi Cup on. Just get a bunch of people over here. That's it. There. And you can play music. It won't matter because the uh, algorithm won't be able to pick up the uh, the music from all the yelling. <laughs> They'll probably still pick it up. Without band. I think uh, it's, uh, we, well, we're at halftime here. Well, that's definitely close to halftime. Well, no, we're, we're past. That's a good shape, too, when your cue ball's on the bucket. We're, ha or, we're pretty much past the halfway part, regardless, but, yeah, you can tell that, uh, the tensions are waning a little bit. Definitely, hundred percent. Probably thinking about like lollipops and ice cream right now. <laughs> but maybe they'll hop back on and think, "Hey, how many lollipops and ice cream can I buy with that much money?" Well, yeah. I mean, that may be worth taking out a small loan for the uh, the ice cream and lollipops, Absolutely. knowing that you'll get a return on your money. Ooh. Wow, that was a really good shot. Good, good shot. That was a very dangerous shot, but but that's the way that Devin plays. I mean, well, plays no, it is. That's, what, that's what I was going about to say. Is that it's that's what we're more used to seeing from Devin is the fact that he uh, he trusts his game enough that he'll avoid the side pocket and yeah. shoot it with confidence. Absolutely. I think he might have been worried about where the eight was. I think he had a couple extra things in mind shooting that shot. Yeah, now this is going to test John's ability to put this in and get shape on the eight. I forgot what the over under is on how many rails the cue ball goes here. I think in six might be the over under. No. I think it should be in seven more. Bottom top thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how many rails it will take to get straight in on the eight. It's like it's going to go up and down eight, eight times. Always do. <laughs> he plays at four rails. And that was, ooh. And that was a great shot. Good. That's Look at those four. And the magic number is four. Oh, by the way, that's a, another thing to uh, keep in mind. If you do make a really good shot and you get really good shape, take an extra pause. Don't just get down and say, oh, it's all easy from here. Pretty quick. No, there's a lot of people who will just get down. They'll miss the next shot because oh, yeah, they're, all they, they've gotten complacent. They're like, okay, well, the hunt is done. All I got to do is hit this one hole. And they end up missing it because they weren't really focused enough. Absolutely. We've all been there. We've all been there in the last ball, and we're like, ah, nine balls, three and five. Chris Kirk here, uh, starting the meeting is fixed now, apparently. This coin has just been agony. Yeah, no. Wait, it's ready to flip. It's a coin that needs to be flipped. That's, and, and Chris is being denied. Don't come up with that. We're going to have a flip withholding in here in a second. Is it a penny? Yeah. Be careful with those pins. Dude, it's, it's I thought maybe there's another one. There. I'm waiting on the flip this next. That's not a penny though. It doesn't it's next, but still yeah, flips, there's, there's something I know. The there's person. something I know about that penny. It's <laughs> uh, not double side penny. Definitely. No, it's definitely it has something to do with not double side penny. I just know where that penny's been. Matt Mirror says that he's guilty. <laughs> now I know where Matt gets all his confidence from. He's <laughs> ball found a side pocket. Interesting decision to deal here. 
my first thought is always just I'm going to keep on doing the bottom, getting around that cluster. There's a lot of balls to get behind. I believe Kevin O'Neill might have a match coming up here pretty soon, too, against Jay. Doing a lot of, uh, I don't really know what to do with this show. I'm officiating. I don't think you just try to put a few walls on the other side of the way. floor. We have an attempt to combination, and we use a combination. Hey man, when you play like me, no combination, it's easy. <laughs> Again, I avoid this four. Went for the combo. Wait. There's a, there's a much faster John shooting that shot. Yes. Yeah, that's so why John has decided to uh, throw caution to the wind and just hit the ball. Yeah, you guys can turn up that heater if you want to. Yeah, if you can, just... The same strategy that Jonathan has, scratching his knee. <laughs> Maybe hoping for a little... Like to rub off of it. I think he's going to uh, lock out. Once again, uh, three foul not in effect here. Three, right? Three foul is not in effect. Three foul not in effect. So, well, this would have been those good opportunities to definitely go three foul. Well, now he just and we may uh, ball. we may see why the three foul rule exists. As, as a dumb reason, not for, for prevent a point that a stalemate happens. The uh, question is, do you push the seven ball over there with the rest of the stack? Um, if you do, the question is, how do you handle it? You just go off one. Well, I mean, if, if we get to the point that we're passing on hands ball, I imagine that, like what I'm doing, and it won't happen now, it's going to be you can open everything up. He's going to make a ball. Everybody loves a rip. Everybody loves a rip. <laughs> I believe that's a highlight reel shot right there. Everybody loves a run out player. <laughs> sometimes you just got to say, hey, you know what? Go for it. Yeah, sometimes you just might as well just make this shot. Someone called Will Perkins on that. I mean, he called for your shot. <laughs> Yeah. Quick work of the rest of this rack. Maybe each of these balls is in a different corner. Almost set up like a drill. Yeah, a drill. Good shot. This will 
turn that off. It's the larger weight for John. And this ties the biggest lead so far. We've had more three game lead, has there? Yep, three's it's tied for the biggest lead, yeah. Yeah. This three's the biggest that we've had. Well, we'll see where we go. John needs ten games to close it out. Yep. <laughs> Fill in for a minute. Sure. Hello, Christopher Kirk. How are you? When, when do we get these fancy little headphones? Nick, you can hear yourself from. I know. I like, when, when do I get these little fancy headphones? <laughs> I got that one at uh, at uh, Best Buy. They yeah. were only like 15 bucks. I'm going to have to get you some better ones. They, they come from the dollar store. They're only about as big as that penny I was holding them in again. These. <laughs> I like these better. Really comfy. <laughs> Bows, yeah, of course. I got, I got some more bows of ours. Yeah, I think the razor is here. I run the uh, Astros. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you turn the ready one. They're wired. It's the only bad thing about them. You don't like wired? I like wired. I do because it's it every charger. Well, I like the ones like those bows, and you just plug in an yeah. audio cord to it. I love, the only problem is I lost the audio cord to that one. And it's one of the smaller audio cords. I'll bring you all those ones I have right now. It's like three cents. Yeah, yeah, shit. shit, more than welcome. Bring them over. They work. <laughs> oh, they work. I just don't use them. That uh, looks like you can safety itself a little bit. Just a... Yeah, that's unfortunate. A little bit it's, further it's, over, it's, he would have nicked it. Closer match than I thought it was going to be, though. It was a lot closer match than a lot of people thought it was going to be. Devin's shooting pretty good. Actually, to be honest with you, I think he's kind of shooting bad. Well, I think Devin shoots normally better than this. Both definitely shoot better than I do. Yeah, a good spot. I was kind of surprised that you took that game with uh, Jonathan a few weeks ago. I wasn't scared. Just paper. You can make it back. That's what I got a job for. <laughs> now, there's somebody that was actually uh, asking me if I wanted to play. And I was like, how much do I eat? And they're like, I don't want anyway. Yep. Okay. Sold. I don't like to do that. I feel bad. Devin play a lot, of, a lot of games around town or whatever. And he, he sometimes he shoots really good, and sometimes he shoots, seems like he struggles a little bit. How much money do you have on this? We're gonna talk about that. My Thou wife's watching. Thousand. <laughs> Now there's a few other people beside you that have uh, bits on it too. Yeah, probably get a little more action before, but I didn't have any takers. Hi, I opened up the chat 30 minutes early for anybody that wanted to throw their name in. I didn't see anybody wanting to back Devin. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could have put your name in there, though. Yeah. Go ahead. If you put your name on there, then you get somebody. Huh? All right, go for it. <laughs> oh, no. Get deep, get deep. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad lead, though. No, he's got a block one. It's got to be a combo or maybe a bank. I think he's got the safe, too, actually. That's good. Uh, I think he'll put the safe on this one. I think the safe is probably the best way to go. Just roll the cue ball up right on the seven. Shoot the six ball down a little. There you go. the ball. Joe Patterson. Hey, man, I appreciate the share. I really do appreciate that a lot, man. They brought, they brought up the jump stick a couple times in this match. Oh, hell yeah. One of these two guys is going to be a 
Well, I think they'll both be really good players in a few more years. Yeah, I'm sure he's he's got a table of the house now. Yeah. He, he, four. I don't think he was the best on a nine foot. But now that he's got a nine foot of his house, it changed his game a lot. Well, he says he doesn't like how he said uh, stars and strikes too. Cause that's the whole reason he got it because he's he's playing on like other cues and stuff like that. You're playing nine foot or so. Tomorrow we'll probably go talk to Pam and see if uh, they want to let us clean their tables. I meant to do it last they, they week. Need it I want to set up like a thing just to go do them once a week because we have a ball cleaner. That was a good Ooh, save. That was a good hit. That was a really good save. Just a little bit, but if we got a ball cleaner now. You know, diamond ball cleaner and stuff. So it only takes a few minutes just to clean all the balls. Are you planning on taking the ball cleaner down there? Or? Yeah, we'll take the ball cleaner over there. Uh, I think he put a little bit more spin on that than he went to. He, he's pretty good at sticky situations sometimes, though. So. Yeah, uh, he can definitely. Like, if he's one of the players here that's going to get out of this. Hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, we like the live matches too. That's why we put them on. We're just trying to grow just as much as we can. Next match, Next match is Kyle Hagar and Matt Mears. Okay. And uh, Matt is giving Kyle some games. Yeah, I think he's giving him like five. Isn't he? Something like that, five away. Something like that. I think Matt's actually in the channel. He could probably tell you. Then Matt, have, what's the word on that? And then we have uh, Justin Pope and Zach Kurganis coming up after that. So was, and Justin was giving him the eight and out. Oh. That's going to be a good one, though. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be a hard one to bet on. 2015. Okay. okay. Yeah, and we'll, we'll set up the stream at Q's and we'll stay there until they're done. So we might be there pretty late. Oh, oh they're doing it at Q's? They're doing it at Q's. I got Q's, called. Uh, two or one? Q's one. Just Q's. Oh. Not Mr. Hughes. And, uh, I already talked to Terry and got all that set up. He said he's cool with us streaming there. We're going to use the GoPro for that one. Then we'll set it up on a stand and everything. Another one on the scoreboard? 16 12. Devin's letting him get a little bit of a gap. So he needs he's, he's getting a little bit of a gap. He needs to tighten back up. But we see him come back at the beginning of this game. He was okay. down. Three to four games, wasn't he? And then he came back. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he came back again. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me at all in this match. And, you know, there's still like a lot of room here. Oh, yeah. They got a long way to go. John still needs nine games to even win this. Yeah. Okay. We are currently at three hours, three hours and 15 minutes for streaming. So. This penny's been laying in front of me the whole time. I'm like sitting here wanting to flip it. But no one in this room will flip with me. I think Mike probably needed to take a break for a minute. Okay, it's a, it's kind of tiring being here, you know, doing the commentator the whole time. Three ball. Got sights on the one and two. Uh, Ryan Tart said that he will bet you heads right now. How much? One to twenty. <clears throat> you can call it, or I can wait till they're done with this match and I can flip it on the table. This coin's eating me up inside, man. It's just sitting right in front of me. Pitch that four up with the seven, man. Yeah, that definitely makes it a lot more interesting when the ball locked up. But, you know, it leaves room for a pretty easy save. 
Just since you do have a little bit of distance between yeah. these walls. <clears throat> you can stay right there. Do you? Yeah, I think I probably would have played the safe there. There you go. What do you say? We'll, we'll wait till they're done with this rack and then we'll flip it on the table so that you can watch. You can call it. I can watch it from here. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, John can watch right here and we can flip it on the floor and the table. I hear also, but no, 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 we can't do that. <laughs> you don't want me to? No, you, you can put your bad juju on me. I do have some bad juju when it comes to flipping. <laughs> I lose a lot of flips. I think it's going for the nine here. When you, when you call it, I'll flip it. It's all right. Oof, that's unfortunate. All right, here we go. Hells. Hells it is. My cash app is cash sign LSX Lope L O P E. <laughs> I'm gonna get me kicked off Facebook. <laughs> They're gonna be like, "You were gambling." <laughs> We've always been gambling, and now what this is about? This is a one v one tournament. Don't gamble. There's money involved. It's a two player tournament. I think ga gambling if it's sanctioned. Well, that was a one v one flip tournament. That's true. I put it on road player LLC. Yeah. What you would. Say again. Yeah, you lost. My cash app is L S X L O P E. Or we can run it back double or nothing. I want an L S X. What? I want an L S X. <laughs> Mine's a V6 Camaro. So what do you? How much horsepower do you have in it? I haven't had to redone it to make power because fuel economy. Hey, you can undertune them to. You That's know, not undertune, so I can run on 93. Make it, uh, make it last a little bit longer. I need to get a flex fuel sensor so I can put an E85. Go for the 9 ball one more time. It's not a give me shot, but. No, it's definitely not a give me shot. Weird thing is that seven ball option might come back into one of the side pockets after he makes contact with the nine. Well, that's an interesting, interesting seven ball. Yo, did you see that? He almost got it. There it is. Sixteen thirteen. First game he's won in uh, uh, four rounds. Yeah, this is where he'll, he'll, he'll come back again like he did before. Yeah, Maybe that's got to make a real close game again. That was a good shot on the able to uh, get that run out. Or uh, the uh, seven ball, my bad. I was, like, this, I was surprised this game has been a lot closer now. <laughs> I knew it was going to be close because I've played both these players a lot. Not Devin, not as much as John, but. He plays a lot. He doesn't play serious most of the time. Who? Devin. We, we've gambled mm -hmm. a little bit here and there. Okay. But I, I wanted to try and play him on stream, but 
He didn't want to spot me. Who, <laughs> Devin? Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, are you surprised he took this map, though? Yeah. I was on the first team, and I was like, I started racking in the bets. <laughs> Looks like it might not go as a. Uh... Go the way you thought it was gonna go there. Well, no, it didn't. It's got a different outcome, but I'm still not scared. That's a good way to look at it. Don't be scared of anything. Scared money don't make money. That's true. What is his Ryan? What? Arch. We gotta get our donations active on this Facebook uh, page for when we do these live events. Help us pay for some of the equipment that we bought. I have actually bought the GoPro 8, but I haven't even freaking used it yet for uh, full streaming. <laughs> bedtime. That's Cal's bedtime? He needs to go to sleep. Oh, where is he at? I think he's over playing ACS right now. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes the winners of the matches actually do donate uh, a little bit. Um, but not all the time. But it's appreciated when they do. You know, it's not <laughs> so expected. Angle, so you got when they don't, you know what I mean. You try, to, try to make sure we uh, help out the players as much as possible because it is their money they're putting on the line, and they don't have to be here on the stream too. Putting up my money for this game. You took it from me last time. You put my money up for this one, right? Oh, yeah. He, since he beat you in the last match. <laughs> He's already spent that money. See, what? That's why I'm pretty much spotting you on this one. You're not losing anything or winning anything. Because you got to give me half the profit. There you go. Is that? See, this is where Devin makes that comeback a little bit. 16, 14. He can definitely close the gap fast, too. And he's a fast player. Some people give tips and donate to the house. Yeah, we've actually got a thing of tips over here. People have donated. <clears throat> Drink that soy sauce. No. No. Would you snort wasabi for no. 20? Snort it, not for twenty. Right? Maybe like a butt twenty. I might. This one's the butt chug. <laughs> butt chug wasabi. No, thank you. I need no spicy a... food as it is. Looks like we got two people in the chat cheering on Devin. Yeah, he definitely needed those, and I think uh, that could be a big. We got brandy. Uh, big on. boost to his morale right now. Lindsay. You got a cheer squad, man. Uh, 
I don't think it's that much, and it might be a little bit of trouble in this one. Be. They're definitely a little bit closer together than uh, you normally know, like. If you roll on them. Good table spin. Send me another 20 cash out and I'll, I'll chug the whole pack. <laughs> of wasabi? No, I was talking about the soy sauce. That's not going to be wasabi. <laughs> soy sauce ain't that bad. I know. It's, it's, it's salty. It's salty. Yeah. <laughs> Tablespoon of cinnamon for 20 bucks. On camera. I tried to do that, man. That's so hard. I, I like <laughs> inhaled and it coughed and it just blew it everywhere. Like a cloud of dust coming off. I think that's the part that most people struggle with, right? When they're trying to do that. What? They just like inhale it on accident. Yeah. Like, oh. uh, yeah. I mean, you can't even help to do it. I've seen one person like achieve that without any issue. I've seen a few people do it. It's like, weird. No, you do that. They just let it sit there until it like slowly falls down. Yeah, but you got to breathe at some point. You got to, I guess, nose breathe. It's not that. Push it up against the top of your mouth and nose breathe. breathe. Okay. Maybe no. I guess I saw that lady though that like tried to do it with like a ladle, Ooh. like a whole mouthful of cinnamon. Oh. I'm airborne again. I'm seen a jump stick quite a few times tonight. Oh yeah. Oh, jumped in right behind it. That's what you got to kind of worry about when mm -hmm. they get close to the rail, like in the pocket. He's back. Yeah, he's kind of mean sometimes. Mean to us. He's a, yeah, he's a, gr he's a grumpy old man sometimes. <laughs> Give your spot back. I'll let you. Time to throw Kevin over here, I think. Kevin's been sitting over on the sidelines just enjoying the view. The ratchet table. That's well. Apparently, what have I missed? They got a, yeah, you missed a coin flip. Okay. Landed tells. And, uh, missed a few racks. Looks like I've missed three racks. You about to shoot the five? I think he's trying to figure out where to get on the five. I guess it's the best shape to get on the five. Well, at least we know the, uh, you can still see the five from yeah. there, though. Well, at least we, we know the trick to uh, getting the shoe soft. Discipline. You would take chalk off the tip <laughs> and allow him to make soft shots. Seems to be a, seems to be a good strategy, kind of there. I just don't have about that five nine. Did the five nine combo actually go in the corner? <laughs> it's uh, different uh, I asked yeah, before. I didn't really look. I mean, we'll see. He landed on a nice spot for the six, at least. Jeff Whitaker, liking the video. We appreciate it, man. Always, uh, always nice to see you too, buddy. Hoping that we can get Jeff a match on the stream soon. Alright. Um, I don't think that's quite as much draw as he wanted. No, but it's fine. Little overcut and it's went from bad worse. That's pretty mm. unfortunate. Yeah. That was a cool trick shot though. <laughs> the nice timing pattern, just timing was off a bit. 
Watch that shot a little. This guy is in the party. Yeah, he jumped up. Jumped up a lot. Yeah, cannot take any shot for granted. That was his opportunity to keep yeah, that just a little bit better. Yeah, that was a, a rough uh, unforced error there. That makes the one and the side eight in the corner. Copy calls a rollout. See where he decides to put it. Be able to kind of decision he's going to force Devin to make here. Called a roll now, but he's jumping it, so maybe he's changed his mind. So he's looking at the jump. He doesn't know what he's made yet. Yeah, he's just trying to figure out what he's doing. He's still not sure how he's working this. A long night for you guys. A long night for all of us so far. Hitting the three and a half hour mark. Looks like we'll be here for probably an hour and a half longer, I guess. But tensions will get a lot tighter as we keep going, though. Go that size, you want to bank this? Maybe. Oh, he actually does play the safe. He's, no, he went for the bank. He went with a two-way shot. So now he played a really nice save. That speed was hard to tell, but he ball was in a pretty good spot. I think you can see the two, though. He's not going to... He could cut it, but you're risking uh, hanging that ball up, which right now, given how much time these guys have been playing, I don't think I'd want to leave any ball hung. 
it is going to turn it a little bit. Didn't quite turn as hardly as much as I was going to. Let it go on hand. See if Devin doesn't uh, start putting this together. Interesting, I don't know if, well, if you noticed on that shot from the overhead, you can see that when uh, Devin pulled back on that stroke, the cue actually fell off his hand briefly instead of resetting. He just went through the shot and missed it. But he gets a kind of a lucky leave, which I don't think it's a great the, uh, jump cue out. About 50 50 on his jumps at the moment. Makes contact. It's a good legal hit. Leaves a tough shot. Not sure what his intention is there. I think uh, Devin's actually getting more fatigue than John. Not what you want right now. Soft shot and just does find the hole. Nice thin cut. Just go two rows around. Just a little spin. He might go try to go straight up and down. By the way, we'll be grabbing the bridge. Just a little bit out of his reach. So this is a little bit left. That comes around and what avoid the nine? I think so. I think the nine. Yeah, he is parked right behind the nine. Bit unfortunate on that one. I think it was the right shot. He just had to put a little bit more into it. Hello, friends. What's going on here? What's that? Might have a chance. This ball has a chance. It is a hole. What a shot. That was a good chance. Two rail pick, two rail pick. That's straight on the nine. Okay, those headphones are a little different than this. You can hear everything to me. So that puts John. Yeah. 18. So I think David's going to take a little break real quick. Yeah, I think Devin might take a break. He uh, he got really lazy on two shots. For your entertainment during our intermission, you have Kevin showing off his banking abilities. Kevin, of course, is missing on purpose because he doesn't want to show anybody his true speed. Can't blame him. So he's going to uh, he's going to uh, miss this a few times. He'll. He can't miss it every time, so he's going to make it once in a while just to make it look good, like he's not missing on purpose, but we know what's going on. This man is a champion. You can tell. Oh, he's playing the two rails. See, that's what he's trying to make it look like he's missing one rail. Trying to make it two rails. Yeah, I told you. To the point he knows better. He can't miss every time. It looks too obvious. All right, we have a uh, exhibition game while the players are on break. Yeah, I don't blame. I, if I was Devin, I would want to take a break too. He uh, 
He's played a, a couple of uh, wrecks, or not, he played a couple shots without much focus. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good reset. I'd like to see a good close game. I actually have no dog in this fight and on the side, so I don't have any side bets myself. So I just want to watch some good pool. Which obviously with Kevin here with John, it's nothing you're going to get but good pool. Suspicion of uh, these are two old school hustlers that will not show their true speed. They'll be on pur purposely missing a lot of shots. Be like. I mean, he missed that so bad, it's obviously not trying to make it. By the way, Matt, I was ignoring your comment. I'm uh, going to let the players know if they get off break that uh, you're offering your services for $20 a break. I'm sure they'll be contacting you momentarily. By the way, uh, Mr. Matthew Davidson is offering uh, $20 breaks if you want him to break for you. Yeah, you pay him $20 and he'll break for you. You have to get a break. If, they don't. Don't. if you don't, you owe me $20. <laughs> no, that's why I said I don't remember them having a break run. Because I've been trying to keep up. I've been I've been rooting for a break and run. But instead we've we played very tactical safety games. Will you do it for me too? <laughs> All right, uh, I believe uh, all the players returned. Uh, by the way, Devin, Mr. Uh, Matthew Davidson is offering his her his breaking services for twenty dollars a break. So, uh, Jonathan says he would uh, take you up on the offer. Uh, Devin seems to have turned down your offer. Man doesn't know a good deal when he hears one. We'll get it to work on all All right, folks, back in action. If you guys are there, a little comment in the comment section. Let's get the thing moving again. It's a So we just need to order the dozen. Game's closer than it seems. Move a little bit closer than it seems. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Don't think much to come back from that. No. Man, this thing's really loud. Yeah, I know. That's that, the whole time I've been listening to that. I'm, I don't think that all that noise comes through on that, though. You can hear it better now? Yeah. You can hear it? I turn it over. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not my only deal. You need to do it <laughs> this one's pretty loud. By the way, uh, John's trying to mess up the audio again. No, no, no. These don't mess with the audio. This only messes with the audio that comes in on our headphones. It doesn't mess with the audio. Oh, yeah. It was a good noise. <laughs> you gotta be kind of listening. It's gross sometimes. Yeah, that little body armor. I've earned great. That's the one that was in the dark five. John, that he will not break the line. Just doesn't like that. 
possible. Even a few racks that uh, probably should have broken in on this just but. Smart though, trying to get him to focus. Yeah, this is actually a little too far on that. Good shot though. It's not too long. Very good shot. I could end it really bad. Wow. I have a dull moment. I think we can still make this. I don't think it's I just don't understand why he did that. Sometimes you gotta put some power into it. Yeah, well, it's not Oh, maybe he can see it. Yeah, maybe it looks like he's a little off. Looks like his angle might be a little off too. Oh, that's close. Cigar. You. <laughs> And he's leaving Devin with a three ball run out. Devin showing us how limber he is. Yeah, Devin is uh, doing quite the contortionist. Little yoga today. Yeah, I know. I know. In case you guys don't know, Devin, Devin does a lot of goat yoga. There you go. Was it 20 that came out or was it 50? Oh, 20. Keep them, I'll keep them, people have them. It's not a. Right. A lot of people don't let them go. Huh? What's <laughs> Like Say so one of the contestants is over here at the commentator booth asking questions. Coming over here acting like we know what the hell we're doing. Once again, once again, the man who's up 18 to 15 is here. He's getting coaches, but coaching is nice. Yeah, and like neither one of us are people you want to get coaching advice from. All right, Chris, I'm pretty sure could beat me. <clears throat> You can't tell them how to shoot them. Matter of fact, I think if Chris and Kevin played us doubles, we'd have no chance. We'd lose all the money. I think it's a good uh, idea, actually. <laughs> break this again. Um, like yeah, if you're if you're working your brakes and your brakes aren't doing well, it's mission. And uh, being insane, something like that. <laughs> it's, it's good advice, though. I mean, I get when you're used to breaking from the same place, I'm the same way. I'm breaking up a certain spot, but you got breaking down the table, just by not giving it up from that position. So look around, find it, you'll get there. Yeah, or just mash the hell out of it. Take some advice from Mike Siegel. <laughs> I just hit the hell out of it. See where it is. You'll uh, you know, you'll toenail and break just to see if you can't 
separate bowls, <laughs> like literally make the one ball into two different bowls. It's not a bad strategy. So if, you can, if you're not making anything on the break, you're breaking stuff. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's when they. That's also different from playing on the fiber. Mm -hmm. You're transferring so much energy, or to just about to get struck through it, you pull the cue ball. Okay, but enough power to get. Yeah, but you don't see shafts like they used to put on cues back in the day. The no. the older shafts are just much more seasoned. Like they leave them inside a lot. Longer. That, that's true, but you know, at the same time, carbon fiber will always go. That's for more energy than any wood, no matter how. Yeah, that is true. Just, I think that was the whole idea with between making the uh, graphite shafts there for a little while. The graphite shafts were going to be like a big upsell, yeah. and then those kind of disappeared. Yeah, they they just never took off. Then we had a bunch of fiberglass. Those things are just terrible. Here you go, the pilot, so I think it might not have a full pocket to work with. Oh, oh. yeah, he didn't have a full pocket to work with. This is interesting right here. Do you go for the nine or do you go for the four? I think it's just better to go for the room. Yeah. Um, you got plenty of room by the room. You can make it without taking the bottom. Taking a shot, but if you miss, you know. Yeah. Player, you had enough room to go by the nine. Mm-hmm. Now the six and the nine locked up. Yeah, six and nine is gonna make this game a little bit more interesting. I wanna make it interesting for the fans. Yeah, let's force the pick one. We'll start selling uh keychains. Jonathan's playing keychains. <laughs> and he makes there a it is. nice combo. That was good. Six hit ball in front of the other pockets. 1816. Keeps the six hit in front of the pocket to prevent the scratch. It's always a smart play. <laughs> and Devin comes down to a two game. Or two point game so far. Again, guys, if it hasn't been mentioned lately, anybody is uh, pretty much welcome to play on the stream as long as you're not going to give yourself. You can bring a friend as long as it's a good long set. Mm -hmm. Bring enough money. Mm -hmm. play. We'll try to help you find a friend. Yep. Or, uh, we actually have a list. Uh, we have a pretty big list of players that want to play yeah. find matches right and, now. I need to release that. Keeps getting larger and larger. So. And if you want to pick somebody off the list, you just say, you know, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Like, who's this Mitch guy? I just want to try that after that guy. Go for it. Yeah. I know. Tim Gibbs? Oh, Tim Gibbs, definitely. I don't yeah. think we can get him here anymore. <laughs> I think he's a little oh, in a different place. If uh, I imagine if uh, if anybody's willing to bet enough, we could probably bring you for not over. It's probably true. Yeah. It's probably going to require at least four digits on the bet. I'm sure that would be easy to accommodate. Maybe he wants to play Mitch. Never know. I think uh, Mitch actually wants to bet a few digits. So oh yeah. I don't know if he'll want to do just one set, though. Right. I mean, there's other people I can name who would be willing to bet that much, but keep their anonymity as it is until yeah. they say other That's probably a good idea.
put a little stone on this. I think I should come right in for the three. Yeah, yeah that's a draw. Just gotta watch out and avoid that side pocket. Right. Sausage balls he said all day. Kinda true. Yeah, actually, if we hit that shot, it'll say it's speed and see. So, John's your protege, right? No. I say that he actually is a he is a student. Let's go to other streams. Here. It's gone to quite a few different people to learn how to play the game from. Them, so it's come along. YouTube. No, but I'm saying about live live streams. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He does go to YouTube quite a bit too. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you play pool, if you're really if you're newer to the game and you really want to learn how to play this game, if you're not going to YouTube and learning how to play, then you are really denying yourself a lot of information and a lot of really good reference. Yeah, and you you can always contact us too. Like we can help you find some uh, instructors if need be. Yeah. Like we know we know people that uh teach. Or we are people that teach. <laughs> Yeah, depending on your level, depending on what you're looking to do. Yeah, we, we have people that can help out in a wide range of ideas. Mm -hmm, but... That was a great shot. Yeah, if uh, anybody wants to ask me for advice, you can do you make that bed, you have to sleep in. Let me see the sun. I even saw some kick it in the side. Oh, pretty, pretty. I don't have a pretty nice thing. No, we'll lean on the ground. Let's see. Yeah, I think drills are a good way to learn. I think that there's only so much I'm going to learn from drills, though, to be honest. I think there's certain finesses and certain body mechanic things that are really hard to learn and uh, yeah for some people especially if you don't have your mechanics right you need to have somebody to help you out learn at the very to... least if you can like yourself to be able to see what you think people, if you ask them what they look like they would not be able to describe it. But a lot of people don't know how they they just think they do, but it's when they see themselves that a lot of people don't bring things that they don't realize. Well, yeah, most people don't understand if they're not, and or they know if their arm is 90 degrees or not, like right, straight or down. Jumping off, jumping <clears throat> down, if you're like, you fall up. Again. Nineteen sixteen. Let's get a little closer. Okay. There's a second one. So I'm going to see if uh, Jonathan can cash a quick $20 to the year. All right. I think it's interesting that Chris didn't offer this at the beginning of the match. He waited until there's you know, six, actually five breaks possible left. Well, he didn't want to give him that much odds. <laughs> Yeah, drills are definitely, definitely, if you're not doing drills, you definitely want to do it. Mm -hmm. practice, practice, practice your stroke as well. Yeah. Set yeah. a water bottle up on the table. Yeah. And At the same time, go in and out. If you go to some levels and you like to see that way, especially if you are executing two drills and pocketing and executing correctly with a bad pound, you can find yeah. some trouble for really where one you put. Oh, that's one more break that bottom. Uh, is that is that a break and run? No, no, oh. not a break. I mean, he did break and then run off the table. Yeah, yeah he broke away. He didn't specify. <laughs> All right, well, you want that bad dude? We're going to scratch and uh, I'm on it. 
Craven, I can stab him with one too again. I think one of the biggest, it's biggest helps for like lower skill level players is three ball rotation. Just break three ball rotation, play the ghost. Right. Like, I think that's the biggest help for lower skill level players. Oh, absolutely. I mean, any, it, any ghost. What else play? Yeah. But I, I'm willing to let you have all three balls. Good place to start. Um, depending on your level. Um, you can go anywhere up from three up to fifteen. I mean, yeah, so absolutely. Fifteen hard spot. Depth. Find your spot though. Um, it's actually interesting. Uh, going from a ten to eleven is pretty difficult. It's there's a pretty good jump in difficulty I going from ten ball guess to eleven ball guess. Well, speaking of a uh, three ball rotation, Devin broke trying to make a three ball rotation game out of this. Scary money don't make money. And he made uh, four, four balls, balls in the break. break. Good, good break. And I think just practicing top and bottom English too when you're a lower skill level player, those are the biggest things. Because I, I don't think that most lower skill level players understand how much. Top and bottom is really used by higher skill level players. Right. And what that big difference is between learning how to play shape with well, just also using those. Uh, well, also, a lot of new players, as they start learning to play shape, start discovering English. Well, that's why fun. That's, you that's where the three ball rotation comes in. Yeah, but a lot of players over utilize the. That's actually a good policy to. Uh, when you're doing drills, try to stick it to where you don't use any random amount. Just use kind of like motion play to be a lot more accurate. You have a lot more. There's, it's a lot easier to figure out where the ball will be because anytime you spin the ball, you can open up the angles, but you also increase the speed off the rail of the cue ball. Make it up to the inches with the kick to the right hand speed up. So there's a lot more factors. And I, and I agree to that. You know, like I'm a player who uses a lot of left and right English, but mm -hmm. I do agree that, you know, it's yeah. better to stick to just it's, the basic top right. and bottom. And if you guys, uh, another fun drill to do, if you want to go really old, old school, find yourself an old wooden uh, broom hand. Take the handle off, play with all the wooden broom hand. Forces you to play top or center. Every shot's basically a, a center ball shot. That's true. If you learn how to play shape that way, you will be amazed. Or you can just take the chalk off of the cue. Well, you could take the chalk off the cue also and play it out. It's a little easier. I'm just saying there's a lot of interesting ways of uh, practicing that's not just a thing over and over and over. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen a lot of these. Center ball? Yeah. yeah if, you can, if you can learn how to run out every racket center ball... There's no reason for you to ever lose. Yeah, I just love using left and right English too much yeah, for me right to use. Yeah, you just see it see the ball work out. It's so pretty. Yeah. A bit of authority on the nine more. Nineteen eighteens. And maybe that's kind of second. Making a comeback. Okay. Look at the dangerous people. The assassin is best to John. John's ready to flip the coin. <laughs> I don't want to touch the thing. Oh. <laughs> ah. Now would be interesting. I'm losing way too many coin flips. I ain't playing my game. In the comment section, we could actually do a coin flip and everybody could bet a certain amount. Say it's your devil. Say, well, we work it out. They covered somehow. So John said earlier he was talking about uh, the stream was on yesterday, on full with other things going on. Like he's setting up. What was it you're setting up in? I was trying to get the donation uh, stuff activated. All right. So Stars is the program that Facebook uses for donations, and I was trying to get it to activate, but I'm um, having a hard time getting it to work yeah. correctly. So and if you guys want, um, I'm sure they would really appreciate when the uh, donation does get going. But you guys still in a couple points. Yeah, some coins. Somebody's got to feed the flipping addiction that goes on here. Chris is flipping addiction or mine? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I lose all the yes. flips. <laughs> so help out with uh, coin flipping uh, fundage. If you guys want, if you guys have a chance, don't give me more than you can, or don't give me what. Yep. Not Not really. These guys put a lot of money. They have, they actually have a lot of money tied up to this. They do a lot of. Money. 
not a real dev. All, all the money gets that gets donated will probably put into the stream and make things more accessible to people and yes. make it a little bit easier. <clears throat> probably yeah. put into a seven foot total. But knowing John and Nisi, I promise you, uh, anything you donate is basically going to get back into the care. Going back into the stream. Yeah. That's okay. nothing to hear to me. Put on a better production and this is stuff. There's a lot behind it. There's a lot to it. So anything that uh you guys can do would be awesome. A lot of money. Yeah, if we have an anonymous uh you know, ten thousand dollar donation, I mean you might have a nine foot dummy in here. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Well still John's after he's done using it. <laughs> Here is David with another attempted safety. <clears throat> Not bad. I mean, even if you don't hook somebody, it's always good to leave force banks. If you miss your safe, don't lose you. I think I would go for the five here. I think if I go for the five. Yeah, you have stopping option. The two middle bank, D bank. Actually, yeah, the Z-Bank did look pretty good. That didn't look like a bad spot. Yeah. Like he was trying to play it off the floor or something. If you're worried about what's going to happen with the three ball in case you make the two, I don't worry about that. I can't make the two. That does not happen. I was more about worried about the two ball if I tried to make it look like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how Chris has a closed captioning on. But all of it's like very off. It is way better. Oh, wait. You gotta connect that time. Oh. That Yeah, shout out to Devin Stroke. You should have shown me that you That was a good try. That was a really good try. Fortunately, I think the yeah. shot that was just went into it. Yeah. That's where experience comes in. The 18. That was a good run out, though. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's got a little fun yelling eye. Watching if we're looking for a continental uh, play. Well, we got Mr. Rowdy Ball in the building. Yep. Well, we got one more match before them. Oh, no. We got, I'm just saying, as far as if you're looking for more of an upper epsilon, you guys are around. Uh, the thing is, even players at all levels need support. But yeah, and I do, have a, I do have a player that's. I do have a player that's in the very upper echelon right now oh, yeah. for a match, too. If somebody wants to take that on, yeah, more than happy to have somebody to challenge that person.
when it looks like uh, Jonathan's going with the uh, smash the hell out of him yeah. priority. Yeah. Now that we have a not yard of five speed. So you gotta never click out here. Obviously, I'm glad that the $20 isn't enough for him to do a stupid shot. He's actually like, still trying to do a trick. Yeah. The $500 is a little more important than the $20. Absolutely. <laughs> Both these guys are not really good at pinups. So it's just not getting there. That's the thing I noticed with the, uh, the Dustin match. Dustin and uh, Frank Frank. Like, I tried that. What's next? Yeah. I'll just try. Maybe this three rail bank. He left uh, Jonathan a pretty decent shot right here. Oh, we got um, it's always good to see uh comments. A little better late than never. Pulls up now if you guys want to um, put in some prediction. Seven eight seven. I think you might be digging a hole into that chalk. Twenty-one eighteen. John managed to find his way back, back out to mm -hmm. three games. Yeah, that is. I'm so close. I believe this game. Mm -hmm. Little things here and there. Just Benjamin. That's kind of what we knew was going to happen though in this match. Was that we knew with some little small mistakes was probably going to be the yeah big factor. 
Don't expect to see many opportunities from either player. Yeah, of course, we'll see a few mistakes here and there. It's amazing how right now. And in case most of you guys don't know, both of these guys are around 520, 530 heart rates. Ooh, almost great. See another push coming out of this one. I don't know. You might be able to see enough of that one to actually make it. Sticking about a little bit past the six. Thank you for the comment, Wolfgang, by the way. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is up spot in the end. Yeah, that's uh, you yeah, still watch it. Getting uh, to be closing up for the, the match here. A little sudden race, so you guys know people that love watching or that really want to watch until the end. Everybody's in and uh, reaching the uh, conclusion of this match. Yeah, uh, as many people that we can at the end here. Let's see thumbs up. There's. I believe he can see that ball. Safety by two now. He has to hit too much of the list of the ball. Still pretty tough ball for him. Yeah, it's not. It's hard to get a shape off this one, even if you make it in the corner pocket. Come into a hit the four or two, maybe. Actually, you might be able to hit the six. Wait, any of that lined up?
Mm-hmm. Thank you. Be able to make that. There's almost a shot. The, the, the good part of the shot, by the way, is he's got the uh, comment switch to the video folded up and stuff, so you know exactly what to expect. Yeah, you really gotta try hard to not put spin on that ball. Well, I'm mean, just very aware of where. Yep. Yeah, and I think that extra little bit of focus that uh, John had at the beginning of the match has really uh, paid off. I, I don't think that, yeah, Enderman has that at the moment. But not like he had at the beginning, but uh, I think it's definitely paying off. That's what I, that's what I'm going to look at. Yeah, it's just a shot that it's like not. Yeah, it must be that thing. Yeah, and I think. I think even if it uh, had rolled out, it probably would have hit the ball and just set behind it. It's yeah, the speed that he yeah, had. But you can't finish it. And spin can catch too. So, a lot of factors in a shot like that, but hitting a little bit hard. And then I'm going scan that. Comes with yep. Better just to aim in the more wide open area away from the ball. That was a great that, shot. That's a fantastic one. But yes, guys, uh, you guys watching, uh, you see these two playing again on the, uh, they're going out there with us in March. Both of them should be out there with us in March. Yeah. Same. Yep. Yep. So they're going on the tour right now. Him and uh, Casey. Hachi. Hachi's a really good player, by the way. Been watching him play a lot lately. It was great to see, though. You know, he had one little mistake. He really pulled himself back together and got back on that ball for the next shot. And set it back together. Yep. That was a really good shot. Yeah, it's actually, uh, Grant's just learning to let your thoughts go. Yep. I like the ball right in a bad position. It's not about the shape that you want, it's the shape that you got. So, <laughs> there's a new puzzle you can solve. Where I 
take me a short five minute break. I can't wait for March. See, he's going to be out there in Vegas, too. He'll be out there. Yeah. Trying to get a group of people, get a nice big place. You're one of those people. DCA is like going back up. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm not good enough to be on his team. He won't let me. I think he's really good to play this combo. Yeah, and he really doesn't want to let up on this because Devin could come back two games if he lets up. Yeah, but he plays it this way. So that's a pretty good draw, I suppose. Like, holds a bit of top of the top. Yeah, right. So that right now. Yep. Realized he uh, made it to the bare left. Yeah, I'm excited to four. Uh, his name is Jonathan Spillane. It's just what you'd want to see. Now, the real challenge here is just to avoid the nine. Yeah, I should get back, but yeah, I get that out. Yeah, I'm going to jam as well. Yeah, ideally, but you can do good. Looks like it might have a little bit of a uh, tingle here. Yeah. That uh, that cash register sound you hear is like Chris paying off twenty dollars for a break of mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, the twenty dollar break run side bet. Double nothing. <laughs> Chris offered like double or nothing when uh, he has two breaks left. <laughs> Chris is uh, running off without paying. Uh, did you pay off yet? 
No. Oh no. Okay, so he's uh, he's airing him. He's running out of the building as fast as he can. I think Jonathan knows where he lives. So I think that would be hard to run away with that. That is the biggest lane. Did you touch a ball? Yeah. And the ball fell. Is Q touched a ball? No, no, you don't spot it. It's a foul. Yeah, it's a foul. And if you if you interfere with any ball in motion, it's a ball in hand foul. Yep. That's what I think. Yeah. Well, No, unfortunately, I'm not going to get caught in a moment. It's a good break, and it's like two minutes to break. I'll watch it up close. Yep. Oh, smack the seven ball. Oh, my God, he balls in. He takes a little bit of time. I see him. He's down. He's right. Yeah, unfortunately, they have. Get back. Think about these games, though. It's not over till it's over. Oh, no. No, it's mm -hmm. Nope. I wouldn't care if I was 20 games behind. I'd still well, yeah, you have to. put it in the desk. Might be seeing a jump cue here pretty soon. Oh no, he's looks like he's going to clip it. Maybe some distance, but he's going to be breaking ball in this field. It's still home beside. But also, I mean, we're approaching five out. Great chat. I don't hear any fun for us then. I think he smacked his hand on the table. No, 
I was able to take advantage of, but it was fuck it's not there. There's no reason not to even though it's an easy run out, there's no reason not to take all of it. Let's make it easy. Yeah. I mean it might have been the fuck where he wanted it anyways. Yeah. Like I said, I think it's just his his fucking Yeah. No. That's what makes these long sets of interesting art. Yeah, but we can both know both of these players, and I mean, four games, four games are nothing. <laughs> Surprise, we actually haven't seen more break and runs today. Like issues, it, it was it was like two feet away from him, like not even two inches from the pocket. And it had so to gone as a recollection of the past. Yeah, I mean, Corey. I don't think either one of them want to make this and deal with that two ball. Yeah, so I can also take that uh, eyeball for this one. Get variety, actually, at three. That's part of my thing. One, two, and I'd say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm seeing how you're reading for Dylan here. Oh my god, this is definitely a safety guy should be at the same. What? Pop it to the rail again. Watch. Not the outcome you wanted, but it's the outcome you got. I decided to get on the uh, Chiefs train for a second. Do that. Question is, do you put the safe here or do you just go ahead and put it in?
I mean, the best uh, safety is really being off the other person shoot it out, right? And I'm Boston. I think it blocks him from the scratching. Mm -hmm. You guys late next match. But uh, yeah, there's a striker at as far as level by level. Yeah, we draw that weapon. I just have a little rough on the bait ball. If I can hit my one shot just a little bit. Hello to our six YouTube viewers. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah. Well, that was pretty good jumping. Game. So, oh, boss, this would be a thank you, would be welcome. Did you uh, send out some samples of the uh, sauce and the way? Is that 
I do have some samples of sauce if you need some. Yeah, he's definitely shooting good. He's a uh, he's with a good speed. He's a, uh... He might play the same safety again. Looks like it might hit the feet twice. Yeah, it did. I'm dank. I'm not dank in the spawn. That was a good safety. That might be one of the nicest safeties we've seen today. A little lucky on that one. Yeah, I think you might be able to put it in that bottom corner pocket, though. Yeah, it's a tough cut. It's not an easy cut. And the cue ball end of the seven.
he is going to not get them with his easel, but he would tell because he's very blind, goes very easily. Definitely interesting. Could be a little off, but I think the slime ball might go in the side pocket, right where it's going. It is just not going to get there. Oh, no. oh. This one with that lip is a great. Really hoping for <laughs> that side pocket. This could be a good opportunity, though. Yeah. I mean, it's in the pocket. The seven is not blocking his one row kick. <laughs> you guys start. So uh, it appears that the four ball drop. Yeah. Maybe it's from the power and hitting the rail. The ball needs to be set. I mean, yeah. The ball needs to be set back. Yeah. So, so, you, <laughs> so you got to spot the four. Not spot it. Not spot it. Not spot it? Put it back where it was. Hang it back. Oh, put it back where it was. Yeah, Pin ball in hands. Okay. That's a weird. Wow, that's a lot weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And they found it for him. Yeah. I think they really found it. Maybe there was a small earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure you were a diamond off. Fortunately, uh, Devin's upset. Hit watch on that. <laughs> <laughs> but this does give John a good opportunity to actually run the last rack. Looks like he left himself a little bit more difficult than the six ball. Game. When in doubt, shoot both. Maybe. I don't know. Didn't feel comfortable when he jumped out. Yeah. Lots of off the rail. Don't think he's going too comfortable with that either, though.
you have to write it for it. So. Twenty-four twenty. I think we uh got some extra time now. Oh. I agree upon that. You should have. Devin. Yep, John gets no more breaks for the rest of the match, so there's no more breaking runs for him. Yep. A good opportunity for Chris to make that again. John's idea, okay with the idea of not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bet you that Jonathan doesn't break him anything. I bet you he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know where that penny's been. What? I don't know where that penny's been. That's what I'm worried about. Devin switches to the other side of the table and makes a ball. And that's seven ball. And then, of course, and then yeah. Yeah. That was a good break. Definitely is not getting a best of rules. Turn a shot. This is not an easy shot. <laughs> but I think the three is probably big enough room that you could probably come off that rail. Just like that. Yeah, definitely tried to force it over. Yeah, I think his stroke, his uh, stroke just wasn't there for that shot. Yeah, we appreciate you uh, watching from all the way in Boston. It was a good try to safety. Yeah, we appreciate you watching. That's a, that's a hell of a long ways away. Yeah, uh... Lorianne, thanks for liking the video. Appreciate it. Yep. Mm 
maintain that kind of uh, English is what he needed on that uh, six ball or that four ball to get to the five ball. Yeah. That was good. Great shooting by both players. Uh, yeah. Congratulations to Jonathan for winning. Mm -hmm. Give him the cash now. Appreciate you guys uh, hanging out, listening along. If you guys, if you guys uh, still want to put some comments out on the stream and then on the replay, helps things out, gets more people out there. Like, share, subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, you guys have a great night. <laughs> Watch us next week when we get going. Let's have a great night. We have a play for a dollar. You had a you had a fan, dude. Oh. Evan, you had a big fan from Boston. Boston, who's that? Wolfgang. Wolfgang. That's what I was oh, he's in Boston. He's actually in Boston. Oh. That's what I was telling you. You got the cheer squad at home, man. You got a lot of people on. Yeah, he, he's in Boston right now. Yeah. Pretty sad. Great stuff. Yeah. Okay, Hope everybody has a great night, and uh, that's all. I uh, hope this.